Gordon Stop talking. That. He just spoke for like five minutes straight, man. Let, let me finish. If you are with a girl and you're sexually insanity, on her, and you love you. fucking insanity. insanity. Please make sure I get a recording of this. Please. Please. You're just you. being retarded. Now. Are you serious? Like, you're <laughs> you're let, let them talk, guys. This is just madness. Let them talk. Just let them talk. You are literally teaching men to sexually assault women. Sexual Wrong way. Assault, yeah, bro. she's going to be unhappy Settle with down. that. Can we at least agree with that? We are going to have a cold approach versus social circle game debate well first we need to define what this is about so if you guys can very quickly just super short quickly introduce yourselves and just explain uh, maybe in one or two sentences, the position you're going to argue for. So let, let's start with Michael. Uh, yeah, man, I'll, 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 this is the position I'm arguing for. Um, I was around with Neil Strauss and Mystery back in the day. I have done more, you know, I'm 45 years old, 46, sorry, I turned 46 yesterday. Uh, I've done more cold approach than almost anybody. I've done it, been doing it for years and years and years. And now I have a company where we teach social circle and my company is filled in, to the brim with clients who did so, uh, cold approach for years. They were dissatisfied with it and they came over and did social circle and they had a misinterpretation of what social circle was before they came over and did it with me. They had f learned from other people who just didn't know what they were doing. Um, in our company, we, you don't have to do this, but we teach you how to show up to events with 100 girls. And I'll show you, I don't mean that as an exaggeration. I mean, literally 100 girls, how to get invited to certain huge events and how to use women in order to in have women introduce you to other women, to have women to in order uh, to calibrate you and have um, women give you access to a bunch of different things. And so the that's the thing that I'm going to argue. The idea that this doesn't work for newbies, we're going to disprove that. I have tons of newbies that are going to come on here and tons of photos and irrefutable visual evidence showing that that's not true. I'm too brown. I'm too Asian. I'm too black. I'm too short. I'm too fat. I'm too poor. This doesn't work in the city I'm in. We have complete irrefutable visual evidence showing none of those things are real as well. So that's essentially what we're going to do. This The form of social circle game that we teach works for everyone in every single situation if it's tried correctly and it's based on the concepts of evolutionary psychology. All right. Uh, Marcus. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, first of all, thanks for having us on. Yeah, I'm going to be arguing um, essentially against the idea that it works for newbies a lot better than it would for, or at all, but a lot better than it would for cold approach. So I've been a cold approach coach now for like about five years, sex coach for a couple of years, and I can just not imagine or see, as we spoke about in the last debate, of a guy that has absolutely no social skills whatsoever, you throw him into an area of a party with a bunch of goals, and suddenly they're going to be amazing at picking these goals up. So we'll get a little bit deeper into the weeds as we talk through, but that's essentially my position. All righty, uh, Brandon, Jesse. Yeah, I'll go first. Uh, same kind of like Marcus, Jesse, been dating coach for a while. But that's essentially what we're going to argue here. And just having like a, a general debate of social circle versus cold approach is very vague. So we got to like, you know, uh, take a deep dive into the specifics. Like why is cold approach and what aspects is it better than social circle and vice versa, right? Because it's such a vague topic. But uh, the stand we're on today is cold approach is definitely the fastest way to get to a hot girl that's going to be our take and also it's needed it's absolutely needed it's the base for any type of interaction with a female so all right and hamson so i've been doing dating coaching for about six years now and i teach social circle i teach cold approach uh, i'm more focused on long-term relationships at the moment but my Basically, what I'm going to be arguing is that social circle is very, very effective, but you need a good foundation in cold approach to maximize results from social circle. Alrighty, so the, the way I'm going to run this is I'm a very practical type of person. Uh, so sometimes there, there may be times where I step in and direct the conversation into something more practical but aside from that we're just going to have some fun have a good conversation and get things going so why should guys choose cold approach instead of social circle game so uh just in general right i think sartain said something very very important at the beginning when he introduced himself he said 
Uh, our clients, basically almost all of them did cold approach before they did social circle. And I think that speaks volumes to, I think his clients get it. I think everyone gets it that, you know, cold approach is a right first thing to learn. And then once you develop that aspect of things to go into your social circle, you know, a brigade, if you want to call it, but just in general, cold approach is one of those things where every single guy realizes they need to learn before they learn anything else. And I think Mike, the fact that every single one of your clients has a cold approach with some shitty coach, <laughs> probably. Yeah, past, I, I, but I, yeah, I think you yeah. missed. Yeah, I think you misinterpreted. There wasn't anybody teaching. So again, I've been doing this for I guess fifteen years now, and there wasn't anybody teaching a social circle product back when they started. It was just like that was all it was. And when I when I specifically I'm talking about I'm talking about cold approach hardcore pickup going up and showing intent initially off the bat. I don't have a problem with cold approach. In, in MOA, we teach cold approach to build a social circle. Basically, cold approach, women introducing you to other women, ga gaining you access to other places, doing cool things with girls, taking irrefutable visual evidence of that in order to, to scale your ability to meet more women. But I like, I like a, a couple of the guys on the call, like we, you know, I, I can ask them questions because I have some of my clients on the call right now and they can speak to what you're talking about. Pickup failed them. We literally did ads where we said, has pickup failed you and got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of clients just from doing that. There are three coaches right now, none of them on this call that are pickup coaches. And we just went after their clients and because we knew that these guys were scam artists and had no ability with women whatsoever and got, we made millions of dollars just doing that. I'm just telling you, and I'm not trying to brag. I'm just telling you, pickup has failed so many men. It has been so uh, unapologetically disastrous for the last seven, eight years. Not mm -hmm. all of them. Obviously, I'm not saying that about all guys. So a lot of guys are terrific. They have a good heart and what they do is fantastic. But for so many of them, it was such a bad thing or they got to sevens and eights. I, I strongly disagree with you, Jesse. The, the quickest way to get to a 10 is through cold approach. But the thing is, from that situation, we just started teaching a different way. And we started teaching a cold approach in a way that does not require the same level of rejection as other things do. What happens is I look at a thousand girls and I see these girls right here either aren't my type or aren't available for me to date. Let's collect them and put them into a funnel. The funnel is this event, this event, this event, this event. I don't have to do anything. There is no game involved. I just have them. They're coming to this animal rescue charity. They're coming to this domestic abuse charity. They're coming to these different things. And now they're in my circle. We do social media with each other. We collect, uh, we, we connect on social media. And from doing that, it uh, creates a, a high level of social proof. And then like, again, guys, there were, there were 70 girls at my, at my birthday party two nights ago, my bikini competition, there were 70 girls. And I, I recruited all of them to show up and doing these type of situations. My clients are able to do the same thing from zero newbies, rookies able to do this from zero. It's absolutely irrefutable. Actually, I actually want to hear something that Marcus thinks we can't do. And then I'm just going to have somebody come on and explain that we can. Okay, perfect. So look, before we do that, uh, I got a couple of points to make here based off the question. So I think we can probably all agree on this call that there are a lot of pickup coaches that are rubbish. I think pickup has failed a lot of men. Now, just because pickup has failed a lot of men, just because there are a lot of coaches that are shit, everyone's like nodding their head at the moment, by the way, is not evidence that, oh, social circle is the answer for you. I can run the same ads has pickup failed you? Okay, you need my program and probably going to get similar responses, right? Like there's many guys that come to me, almost pretty much every student coming to me that isn't just pure coming to me, never done game ever before. Happens, I'd say maybe like 10%. 90% of the clients that come to us would have said something like, hey, I was watching someone else's content. I got suggested yours. You're on like someone else's um thing, blah, blah. And Almost all of them say, okay, and fuck it, all name names. I did an RSD bootcamp. It didn't really work for me. I did an X bootcamp with this person. Didn't work for me. They come to us and have great results, right? I think we can all probably attest to fucking there being a lot of shit pickup coaches out there or a lot of shit pickup content. Um, that being said, when it comes to the newbie, um, the question was, what is more advantageous, right? Being able to go out there and fail and have that rejection. I agree. Social circle gives you less rejection. I think that's actually the problem right now. That might sound really great for a newbie. Like if I'm new and I'm like really scared to approach someone, I'm really scared of rejection. Yo, yeah, I'm going to be throwing my money at the person that's telling me you don't need to get rejected as much. But the truth of the matter is you actually need that rejection in the beginning. You need to be able to fail without any consequences. And so I think if you are going to have this social circle, 
right? Like if you asked a newbie or if you asked me, yo, would you at the beginning of your journey prefer to just go and approach a random girl that you're never ever going to meet again and practice this skill? Or would you rather do it on your crush at like college in front of everyone watching, right? Of course, I'm going to say I wanted to be on the random girl and not the social circle. So I think it allows people to actually have those um, opportunities to fuck up, to be able to learn in a really low pressure situation that you can do it over and over again without any um, consequences. So I think that's a huge one. There are some others we can talk about. I think it probably sets you up with some uh, uh, bad habits and probably sets you up with more of these relationship frames that you're, you're setting or more like friendly frames that you're setting. It doesn't actually teach you to be more dominant or more of a man from the beginning. Um, but I think the biggest one is opportunity to learn. So uh, um, go for it, real quick, Ice, is it possible for us to stop the recording for a couple seconds here? Only Dan Bilzerian can hijack uh, my debate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, what yeah. else can I say? I, I, I apologize. I just knew that was the only time Dan was going to be able to talk. And I knew he was. No, that's OK. That's OK. That, yeah. That, I'm all yeah. for it. I just wanted to give you. And the other thing, the other reason why is, again, I just want to point out, like, the social circle and you guys aren't bashing social circle your 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 initial complaint is that social circle wouldn't work for newbies the mm -hmm. reason T ty lopez and dan bilzerian and wes watson and brad lee and all these guys like are in my social circle is because we can do things for each other and be like we this is what we teach social circle is not just about getting women it's also about leveling up your uh, relationship with dude so like lynn oding dude i love the jack reacher series and now i'm friends with the guy who created the fucking equalizer with dan bilzerian this man has i mean i'm sorry with, dan, with denzel washington this man has denzel washington's number in his phone and i'm gonna go hang out with him and have dinner with him right after this so that's the other thing that social circle does is it just you include these incredible people in your life my one of my favorite authors of all time is rollo tomasi do you know who I talk to every day now? Rolo Tomasi. Actually, I was going to have Rolo come on this call right now. Uh, but yeah, I talk to Rolo every day. He's one of my best friends now. So it's one of these things, like regardless of what you think, now I'm friends with, I used to watch Wes Watson videos. Like, man, this guy's fucking awesome. Now Wes and I talk. But that's what happens when you use social circle uh, as uh, to inculcate that into your life, not just the thing with women. Yeah, I mean, I don't, once again, I don't think anyone's like disagreeing with this. I don't think anyone's disagreeing that having a good social circle, networking with a bunch of guys, building that up is amazing. And if you want to like dedicate your life to it and get it on a really high level, that's also great. But I think it, what we're trying to debate here is you're a noob, you're not very good at game, you're not very good with networking. What do you spend your time on to get better with women, right? So let's um, let's do this. So, I, got, I, got, I got I got four I got four noobs. I got four guys who were noobs on here who tried social circle, and you can ask them. That's what I brought because I I appreciated the question, Marcus. So I went and found some guys that used to be noobs, and then got on my uh joined my program and had you know some success, and you can ask them. Yeah. So instead of asking like what's what's the quickest way to fuck the hottest girl, my the more important question in my mind is what is the success rate from either approach because having done boot camps with, with whether it's RSD, I mean, I'm sitting in this RSD boot camp and they telling us to our face that 90% of you will have fun this weekend. And then a month, a month from now, you're not going to be cold approaching on your own, especially if you're in a small town because you can burn out ba and basically be known as that guy relatively real, quickly. Real, real close. So Sorry I would wager there. that there's a. Real uh, close. Um, just before, we close, we, before we get there, I just wanted to clarify that uh, we at Game Global did a poll uh, a while mm -hmm. ago. Thousands of people responded, and 65% uh, who took boot camps expressed dissatisfaction. They were Anybody saying ever? that only 35% actually uh, found it valuable. Hey, look, can I say something real quick? Uh, just to speak on your behalf. I went out and I'm friends with Eric Von Markovic, mystery. And when I went out, I went out with him. When I went out with him, it was before there was Instagram. And before there was Instagram, what he taught was fucking devastating. It absolutely did work. But one of the things he used to do was this like photo routine, which is basically mm -hmm. called Instagram now, right? But he was doing it back then. And I was not dissatisfied. I would give my boot camps with Mystery and Matador and Love Drop and Neil Strauss. Well, Neil was not a, a boot camp. I just took Neil out for his birthday. Those those experiences I have with those, I would give 10 out of 10. It was fantastic. And oh, and like I would tell you guys, um, those things were worthwhile. 
But what happened was this first, the second level derivative, the third level of der the first second level would be like the Adam Lyons groups, and then the third level derivative and the fourth level derivative, and then Mike Long comes in, and now all of a sudden everything becomes a sales letter, and then that's where a lot of what happened in pickup the early days became bastardized. There were legitimate, there was no misogyny, and it was legitimate, and there was no political. There wasn't a political movement. There was no red pill. That original version of pickup, regardless if the guys were good or not, they were in from a good place. And it was a very different society full of people trying to help each other up back in 03, 04, 05 when I was doing this than it is right now. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm 40, I'm almost 50 years old and I've been doing this for that long. How do you I mean, that's Instagram why I actually everything? don't identify as like a pickup artist because of the negative connotation that a lot of those people created. And I, yeah. if I have a client that didn't like the boot camps that I used to run, that would be news to me. But one thing that we should probably define is, Michael, since you say that people didn't teach social circle before you, what is your definition of social circle game? Yeah. So so the reason why I say this is because the, the previous versions of social circle before, a lot of them did not include the female teammates uh, concept of it. They just, what they would mm -hmm. do is like, here, you throw an event or go to a nightclub or whatever and connect people. My whole thing is women bring me more women. That's the main, that's one of the main things. The second reason why is a, a original, the social circle stuff, like say early social circle stuff, which like say Adam Lyons was teaching, there was not really an inculcation of social media. So for us, the concept of building a list of 4,000 girls, and then we will hire a VA that we have a specific way that we use uh, uh, event invites to get those lists together. And we have a way of curating our Instagram. No one was teaching that before me. I've been, I've been teaching that since like 2013, 20, 2011, 2013. Then uh, the, the third part was the logistics. There was an issue that happened where in uh, a lot of these guys were, hey, you know, how do I get pickup guys were like, how do I get girls to come back to my mother's basement? And in social circle, it was like, how the fuck do you get out of your mother's basement? I was always telling guys, if you have a choice to live as close as you can to where the women are. So the logistical situation, I live at Panorama Towers. I live a couple floors below where Bulzarian used to live. Um, in this tower and I'm right up on the strip in Las Vegas. We have parties every night or not every night, but we have parties whenever we want. And there's, there's four or five girls to every guy here. So logistics was the third thing that made my, what my program was different. And then the fourth thing was the concepts of like, uh, it's, it's called sexy sons hypothesis from evolutionary biology. And the other a concept is called make choice copying from evolutionary psychology. And this is the concept of if women see a man with other women, then those women find him attractive. And it comes from an evolutionary reason to try to pass your genes along. So if I have sex with your woman and I have sex with an attractive man, my children will be attractive and therefore their likelihood of having sex and passing on their genes increases as well. So because I had Dr. David Buss, Richard Reeves, and several other evolutionary psychologists on my program, because it was a science-based approach to networking as an evolutionary adaptation. That was the fourth reason why what I teach was different from anybody else's. I mean, I would argue that the the cold Instagram DMing that you teach as part of your social circle game is closer to cold approach. And the, the equivalent of that so, is so, online so, so the dating reason, apps. Uh, yeah, the so, cold, so, so the, the, the re cold DMing is yeah. like... That's online dating, right? So, so the reason why it's not, so it's not cold. So we don't actually call it cold is because when they come back, they see my Instagram. And so they'll see the girls that they know that follow me. And I'm able to provide immediate, <laughs> immediate social proof. Basically, I'm saying, here's my card. Come by, check out my office. And they go to my office and my office is like, somebody's coughing. What's going on? Oh, Miguel, just mute yourself. So, uh, so they'll, they'll come by and they'll see all the things. So like, for instance, if they were to go to my Instagram, it, what they would see would be so different from me just going up and talking to them as a man, you don't take your value with you. I mean, unless you have a $487,000 watch and you're pulling up in a Bugatti or you're famous or you're just incredibly good looking. Most men, when they go up to a woman, they have to, they have to reestablish their value when they go to Miami. And then when they go to New York, and then when they go to Chicago, there has to be some measure to reestablish some level of, of value they have. Even if it's, I'm very charismatic or I'm very good looking or whatever, there's some measure. Women don't have to reestablish value. An attractive woman is an attractive, she's attractive in Las Vegas. She's attractive in Los Angeles. She's attractive in San Francisco. She's immediately attractive. She doesn't have to bring anything with her. For men, we sort of do. And so one of the ways for us to get around that is in order for us to bring our value with you, us is to use social media. So be in that we use social media to do this, it is not cold. That's why I, I don't consider what we do to be cold. So for instance, you talk to a girl and you say, hey, would you like to come to our bikini competition? 
position. But like this, when your Instagram looks like this, they're just a hundred thousand times more likely to follow you than they are if you don't. And you just look like what 99%, by the way, these are all my clients. None of these are me. 99% of people's social media looks like, which is fucking terrible. These guys look like child molesters. They have photos that are out of focus. They don't know how to use lighting, but because the social proof travels with you in a similar way that it does for women who are physically attractive, this is the reason why what we do, while it is a cold DM, the, the interaction is not cold because she gets to check out what I have going for me. And whether guys know this or not, whenever a guy, Whenever you message a girl and you guys talk and she's slightly interested in you, the first thing she's going to do is check your Instagram. The first thing you meet her on Tinder, you meet her on Bumble, you meet her on Hitch. The first thing she's going to do is check your Instagram. Showing that you have pre-selection has been nothing but an incredible benefit to all 700 of the clients in the program that we have so far. It has been 10 out of 10 amazing so it's not cold. It's not the same way as cold approach. It's similar to me being on stage with Diplo, looking down at a girl and waving at her, be like, hey, come on up here, come on stage. And then she comes on stage asking, how the fuck did this guy get on stage? How did he, he get me on stage? And how the fuck does this guy know Diplo? That's not cold approach. Even though it is cold approach, it's not pickup type type cold approach. Well, I yeah, no, I, Michael, I, I think you would also I agree with that too. I agree that Instagram is like very, very, very good for building up attraction and showing your value but you could do the same exact thing when you walk up to a girl you could close the, her instagram and get <laughs> you, it in you within a minute right I, so that I was disagree. part of my agree, like attraction process that. that i used to have was on, just, like, within a couple finish. minutes or two i would uh, exchange instagrams with her and then i would continue talking she'd look at my instagram for a quick second so i don't think that instagram specifically is exclusive to cold approach but when you're still uh sending a message right it's still a cold dm it doesn't matter what you call it even though like you are good at what you do i'm just saying like you can call it whatever you want it's still a cold dm but i would equate instagram <laughs> online dating game to cold approach versus tinder bumble other dating apps as more like social circle online dating because it's a warm lead instead of a cold lead from a social media website yeah. So when I send that girl that DM, I don't care if she sleeps with me or not. I'm trying to get her out to an event to become part of my social circle. If I never sleep with the girl that I DM, that's an okay result because I'm going to meet her friends and we're all going to go better places together. Mm -hmm. The point of the DM is not let me put myself inside of you. The point of the DM is, hey, let's go to the fun social circle event. Yeah, and that argument can yeah, be so... used for in-person cold approach as well. You could say the exact same thing. I walked up to the girl to get an Instagram lead, so I could. But you get can't, her you for... can't, you can't though, because when you are approaching a girl who doesn't know you before, you don't have really most of the time don't have any context around you. If you're doing it with Instagram, she sees the pre-selection, she sees the social proof, she sees the status that you're building, even though she hasn't met you before. You're building so much more status and attraction and value as a man from there from what's on the profile <clears throat> versus if you're just a guy who's going out right and just you can build her. all those things so from real quick as well you add you yeah, absolutely so you, real cannot, quick. you cannot yeah. you cannot do it as oh, fast no Bro, if, if uh, just oh, real quick real quick before we go like if well, you guys well, were before we get too event, distracted i just want to know what the original argument is so i understand the original argument is that instagram that method that is core to what michael is saying that he does is not exclusive to social circle it's it can be done through cold approach as well right and yeah of course tristan also like your confidence and your body language so the, just the way the girl sees you and walking around and the tonality that you use when you talk to her is an honest signal of how attractive you are and how high value you are so what you said actually yeah but the idea that sense. that supersedes hold on, hold on. status Here, and pre selection yeah here i'll clear this that could actually up, be so. a dishonest thing my name's going on instagram is hold on, talk about hey hold on yeah. ice mute everyone and then call on who you want to talk okay hold up what's going on ice good to see you again man. I, okay uh first of all i want to say too many people coughing uh no too many people talking at the same time and miguel every time you cough you come on the screen so uh what we have just been going through in the last three minutes or something we're talking about message game and hamza is basically saying it's not exclusive. So how about we just uh, accept the fact that when it comes to message game, which uh, we define at Game Global at least mm -hmm. as secondary game, virtual world game, how about we focus on physical world things? So for example, the photos, 
those, those photos are showing something in the physical world. So that counts. Uh, so let's focus on the fact that Instagram can be utilized in whatever way, but whatever you're showing, yes. um, maybe like the only way to show cold approach <clears> is <throat> if you have infilled videos on your Instagram, which isn't so likely. So let's keep that. In Mind mind if I jump in? Share my thoughts? Go ahead. Nice. All right, cool. So my name is Miguel. Just want to introduce myself. I'm actually one of the co-founders and part owner of Men of Action with Michael. And just so my context, like before I share my thoughts, like why you should listen to me or why it even matters or why I should feel qualified to share my thoughts. Been in game 15 years. I'm sure I can rate with a lot of the cold approach guys. Like I love a cold approach. I love a social circle. I love all the types of games. I'm trying to optimize the results. So I kind of follow the Bruce Lee approach where I take from everything and then combine it all together for the best results. But start off in, with game, found out that you can actually talk to girls you don't know. So my first eight years, I was just doing cold approach, worked for the attractive man where I travel the world, helping guys with their cold approach skills. Did that like first start of my boot camp with Yad on day game, then did a boot camp with Julian, did a boot camp with Derek from RSD, um, then ended up working with an attractive man for like three years as a cold approach coach. And then I started working with RSD on a marketing team, moved to Vegas, started helping their Vegas immersion program. And that was my adoption in Soul Circle where I met Michael. So I know Michael for about five years. We started MOA roughly two and a half years ago. And I would say my life completely transformed when I combined cold approach and soul struggle. So I think that's why I want to step in for the fundamental argument where I think it's a lot of cold approach versus soul struggle. I think the way to really approach it is like Aristotle is a golden mean. We're usually the best answers in the middle, whereas cold approach and soul struggle. So I think soul struggle is definitely much more leverage and scalable, but if you have a friend, they have to start as a stranger, and that's where cold approach comes in. So I used to do a cold approach every single day. I would go to the bar, try to hook up with a girl. 50% chance to hook up with a girl. Next week, same thing. Try to go to the bar, hook up with a girl. Next year, same thing. Try to go to the bar, hook up with a girl. When I started introducing Soul Circle, I started to make high-status friends, beautiful female friends. High-status friends had access to scarce resources, like the, the security guard of the DJ booth. Making friends with him. Now, instead of cold approaching at a local dive bar, I'm cold approaching at the DJ booth at Excess, the best nightclub in the world for free. Um, then I started making male friends, which are like hosts in Las Vegas. Now, instead of cold approaching at a dive bar, I'm cold, cold approaching at a free five to $10,000 table in Las Vegas. Now I'm making female friends where instead of me just trying to fuck every girl that I meet, and if we don't fuck, it's like not only did I lose her for the rest of my life, now I kind of lose her whole entire friend group. Instead of befriending the friends, now I have access to all of her friends. And the hotter the girl, the hotter uh, girls you have access to. And then girls, that's one of the things we teach in our program. Like, yeah, I used to do on our on our calls all the time, my sales calls when I used to do them. But, like, you ever see those Amex commercials where, like, credit accepted everywhere? That's kind of how I look at girls, where, like, their, their, their value accepted everywhere. Rich guys want hot girls at their things. Restaurants want hot girls at their place. Uh, clubs want hot girls other place hot girls want other hot girls and the hot girls are the ones that are being invited to all the exclusive events so the most more female friends you have the more you know all the best things in your city so my life kind of took off and so our clients life and anyone's life will take off if you include like cold approach and soul struggle so like the model that i went from was cold approach meet a girl try to be in set for four or five hours if i fuck up that i never see her again combining what we teach guys is combined cold approach and social circle and social media to optimize your results and be the most effective and efficient combination than just cold approach and also then just social media than just instagram game if you only do one avenue then you're not tapping into a full potential comparative to combine into everything so like the new model that we would teach our clients instead of cold approaching for four hours you cold approach for five to ten minutes you walk into the girl i like doing compliment openers um to be direct and will sell still telegraphing too much interest and then get to know her for a little bit. And then after five, 10 minutes of getting to know her, Oh, you seem pretty cool. Do you have Instagram? And then that's where my cold approach kind of stops. It's kind of like cold approach is the first 10%. And then the last is the first 10% to get to know her, go from stranger to having her Instagram. Then I use cold approach in the last 10% when I go from like her at my place to closing, but that middle 80%, I use social work on social media and it takes care of, like if it's, we all study cold approach, attraction, comfort, seduction, social media and social circle 
kind of do all the heavy lifting for you. It builds all the attraction for you. I can either talk to her for four hours, convey my attraction, or I show her my Instagram. Um, hey, Miguel, yeah, real quick, well, before yeah, I do just, that, uh, that's, not, that's, not, that's not part of the debate. The debate. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Let, Mark, Mark. Let's, let's keep message games separated from this. Let's just focus mm -hmm. on cold approach. And my point is a yin and yang. So. You combine them together. That's yeah, I, I, I know. Mean, I understand. Let, that. Let me so, to that, yeah, let, let's have Marcus uh, respond. Go for it. Miguel, I, I agree. <laughs> um, thanks. For, I think that's kind of our point is that you you should be doing both, right? I, I think our yeah. point is, I mean, you call it 10%. I think Michael's been calling it 2%. Uh, you can correct me later if, he's, if I'm wrong. Um, I think everyone that's like, come on here is kind of like agreed with our point of view. Like Dan said that he cold approach for a while, got him kind of good with women. And then he started doing um, more of the social circle type thing. I think uh, was it was Lynn that came on said, yeah, it's a waste of time to do mm -hmm. like big group events. If you're horrible, like with social skills, Dan said, yeah, I wouldn't do like spending way too much time, like yeah. fucking investing all this time in like setting up parties. So I think we all kind of are coming to like an agreement here where you should have a baseline level of skill. And then mm -hmm. you set up the right situation. You set up the right social circle that gives you all these other benefits outside of game as well. And it's great, but you need to have that foundation first. So this idea that Michael mentioned earlier, that you can't carry value with you as a man is crazy to me. If you're a 10 out of 10 man in terms of looks, if you're the best looking man on this planet, you are still the best looking man on this planet, whether you're in Vegas. That's what I just said. That, that's exactly that's what like I said. Point. That's, that's, exactly, that's exactly what I just said. I literally, I literally said verbatim you. what you just said. I literally <laughs> said that. that carries with you you told me, looks. No, no, no. You said you couldn't carry your value. Now, if you're unless you're a good looking man, no, your unless value. you're a good looking man, well, unless you're Hard a good looking man, or you have a paddock watch, or you have a Lamborghini. That's what oh, yeah. I said. Okay, I well, literally said that. Let's okay. So that's fair. Let's continue down that then. So if you have a so if you're an average guy, risk, what value do the girl? Yo, think yo, yo, let it okay, wait, 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 wait. Interrupt. Too much if you have a watch around your wrists, then I agree with you. You're demonstrating value there. If you have washed six pack abs, you're demonstrating value there. Mm -hmm. If you're very Agreed. charismatic and confident, we can all agree you carry yourself differently and girls will pick up on this right away. I can't tell you how many girls have told me in feedback that I've got with them after sex that the moment they came up to me, they knew, right? They knew how confident they I was. They knew how many women I've been with that they could tell. And also, by the way, in all those like Instagram photos that you like shared of your students, a lot of girls can actually tell the honest signals that Hamza was speaking about in those photos. I have a lot of students when I get like, they'll do a Tinder photo shoot. They'll get a picture of them with a bunch of girls and I get girls to review it for them. And they're like, yeah, we can tell these girls like aren't into him. We can tell these girls don't really know him. Some of those photos really fucking good. Some of those photos, great pre-selection. Some of them look awful. I'm going to be honest. Some of them look like the guy standing there awkwardly with a bunch of girls standing around him. So I think it's like those honest signals have to be really spot on. Even if you're doing this Instagram game, even if you're getting photos with hot girls, there's no simple fact of like there are hot girls around me. Girls are going to think there's pre-selection. And I think that's, you can agree with that in person as well, right? Like if you're just standing around with some girls, but it just looks like you've paid for their table. It's very different when these girls are coming up to you and being like, oh my God, Michael's the best. I love him. He's amazing. So I think that has something to be said for as well. Yeah, of course. Uh, we, tr we desperately try to avoid that. The number one thing we talk about is compliance. You must have compliance in all of the photos. The girls must be turned in towards you. They touch you. You don't touch them. But about, about my question was the whole thing when we Marcus and I talked last time was the concept that you cannot do this as a newbie. So there's guys on here that were newbies. Can you do this yeah, as a newbie? Them. Yeah. Do, what do you guys think? Who's, is this yeah, one of these things where you cannot... Noob. Yeah, well, I'll go start ahead, with my journey of just adding. Well, I'm Miguel, Miguel, social. can we? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Guys, yeah, guys, hold is... on, hold on. Wait, let yeah. me uh, announce that this has been a bit chaotic. There are 11 of us here. So obviously uh, being on Zoom, it, it's one thing. It's more difficult, but it's easier to do in, in person. So uh, the way we're going to do this now is you, you're, you guys are going to have to raise your hands um, and no more interruptions unless it's free words or less. If it's like, I agree, I disagree, that's okay, fair enough. But we can't just have a lot of people just talking at the same time. It's not going to work. So Hamza, go ahead. Yeah, um, so yeah, shout out Sam Sussman. I think he's friends with you too, Miguel. Um, but yeah, so that's, I like the stories that you said about how you were cold approaching in like lower status venues. And then eventually you got to higher status venues and you started cold approaching. And mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, I think social circle is amazing. I love social circle game. And I think just 
if you didn't have those cold approach skills from the beginning, your results that you're getting at the higher status venues wouldn't be as good. And then um, I think Jordan also mentioned before that, like when he gets an Instagram or he messages a girl on Instagram, he's not like trying to get in the girl's pants. And if he gets her as a friend, then that is a, a win as well. But I think that also applies to cold approach too. Like you can cold approach women. You can also, you don't have to fuck all of them. If you see that you're not going to be able to make it happen, you can keep her around as a friend and that can increase your quality of life as well. Nice. Cool. If I respond, I yeah. go ahead. So when you say to a newbie, like I said, my whole premise, like I love cold approach. I love social goal. You do both kind of like if you're trying to optimize your physique. You wouldn't just diet and then shit on everyone that works out. You wouldn't work out and then shit on everyone that eats healthy. You would do both. So as a newbie, what we do during our Vegas immersion program, which is like a week long boot camp where we teach you first cold approach, which is like day one soul circle, how to take a stranger to a friend. The second thing we teach is day one soul circle or week one soul circle, how to take the people you met yesterday and add them to your week long soul circle. Then we do a month long soul circle. So here's the advice that I actually give our newbies that go through our program is that first day one, go out to your city, map out soul circle or of places you can meet girls. So say, for example, we're taking a newbie for the first month. This is kind of the journey he would take. He would go on cold approach at the bars, clubs, cafes, whatever. And then he would have something to invite them to. So say, for example, he invites them out to Sushi Sunday and does a group. Your guys is like, you need cold approach skills. Yes, I agree. You're practicing your cold, your cold approach skills in a social environment, which optimizes your results. Like when you're cold approaching at Sushi Sunday, the five girls that you met that, that week, when you're cold, where you're talking to all five of them, you're still developing your cold approach skills, just like you would if you cold approach a girl on Starbucks. So just because I'm like on a weekly basis meeting girls and instead of doing one-on-one -on -one dates, I invite them to a group date, treat like a speed dating round where I'm cold approaching all of them and getting to know them. And then from there, I invite the one I like to a date. So like if you talking to a girl at Starbucks doesn't make, mean you learn more and get better than you talking to a group of five girls at Sushi Sunday, I would say you accelerate and get more calibrated and get better at talking to women when you have to do it in a group setting than just one-on-one -on -one setting. So it's cold approaching. You create a social environment to cold approach within. I'm a, I am think it's the same guy, Bob. If he had a cold approach a girl at Starbucks, he would get worse results than if he had a cold approach that same girl that came with two other girls at Sushi Sunday or a weekly event. So we teach our newbies to, instead of cold approach, to try to fuck them in four hours, cold approach them in five to 10 minutes, ask them if they have Instagram, exchange Instagrams, and then now your social media and your social will do all the heavy lifting where the newbie, if he just did a cold approach, would try to talk to her for four hours, didn't get the result, have to talk to the next girl for four hours, didn't get the result, have to talk to the next girl for four hours, didn't get the result, oh, I fucked a girl. All right, now when I never fuck her again, she's out of my life forever and she's not gonna bring her friends. Or I didn't fuck the girl, now I lost her and all her friends. Opposed to if you add cold approach and soul circle to that newbie, he's like, hey, Sally, uh, me and my friends do through Sunday every Sunday. Do you want to come? You seem pretty cool. Do you have Instagram? And now when Sally goes to my Instagram, instead of me uh, cold approaching for four hours, I cold approach for three minutes. And then I show her the lifestyle that I have. She sees the photos. She sees the videos. She sees I'm, I'm a high status guy. So instead of taking four hours to cold approach to demonstrate value, my social media does all the heavy lifting for me. And then not only is it doing with Sally, it does it with everyone else that uh, is in my pipeline. So it's like a, a way to scale your nurturing. And that's why I found out the power of Instagram where it was a year after, it was a year later, this girl hits me up from Germany. Hey, are you still in Vegas? How the fuck do you even know I'm still in Vegas? It's so random. Like, how do you remember me? She was like, oh, I have your Instagram. I'm watching your stories. So not only has my social media been building attraction and comfort with the girl I met yesterday that lives in my city. I also built an attraction and comfort with the girl that I met a year ago in a completely different country. Um, so like I can have 15 minute interactions. She follows my social media. And then now because I set the date up in person, I don't really have to do much texting. And then what I do is I game her when we're all together as a group. So that would be my advice to a newbie is combine cold approach and soul struggle. Or instead of cold approaching for girls at a month at a time, trying to fuck them on the first couple hours of meeting them or invite them to a one-on-one -on -one date, 
you do a social circle weekly container event where you do a weekly event, say Sushi Sunday, Taco Tuesday, bowling, a club night, anything near you, anything you can do with one person, you could do with a group of people. So if you like going to the beach, you can do that. If you like going to the gym, you could do that. So you do a weekly event that you're inviting all your cold approach leads to. Um, and then you're kind of speed, you're cold approaching there. So use cold approach, social media, and social circle to create better environments to cold approach within from. So that's kind of my advice to newbies. And then at the end of the month, he's going to have a bunch of girls. <clears throat> and like cold approach is like a video game with no checkpoints. No matter how far you get, you have to start all over. If you spend three hours with Sally and fuck up, now you got to start all over. Uh, Soul Circle is like a video game with checkpoints. You kind of pick up where you left off because now it's not a zero-sum game. If you don't fuck the girl that you cold approach and you friend zone her, not only can she be in your life, but she could bring her other female friends in your life. So you invite her to weekly events and be like, hey, bring your friends. So it's much more scalable, much more leverage. Cold approach is like hunting. I love to hunt. I love to eat. Uh, but you have to do it every single time. So it might be faster results in the short term, but like, like human civilization didn't take off and still we started farming because then we could settle down. Like that's kind of like social circle and social media is like you're farming where it might take more work up front, but then you can eat forever with a lot less effort, a lot less time, much more efficient. So that's kind of what I'm proponing of. Instead of spending 10 years, like I was doing cold approaching hunting, I spent just 30 days planting seeds, farming, and that's something you eat off for the rest of your life. And it's something that compounds as well. So I recommend newbies, cold approach, and then every single girl, instead of trying to have the goal be trying to fuck her, you have the, after four hours, the goal is get her Instagram in 15 minutes, invite her to a weekly event. And then I meet the other girls I invite there. And then that kind of grows and you start hosting monthly events. And uh, yeah, it kind of grows from there. And then you can accelerate really, really quickly where the cold approach guy might have better results in a week. The social goal guy will have much better results after a month and it will be not, it won't even be comparable after a year. Okay. So uh, those are my so thoughts on that. Again, yeah, Miguel, I'm curious, like, what point you're arguing against here? Because I think, again, me and Hamza, and uh, I'm not sure about Jesse, but I, I agree with this, right? If my mm -hmm. students are an intimate, intermediate level where they're able to go up and build attraction within five minutes or get to the compliance enough where they can say, hey, come sushi with me this weekend. I'm going with some girls. If you are that good, then yeah, I agree. Do these container events mm -hmm. that are like not a lot of effort. You don't have to spend six months building up 4,000 goals on an Excel sheet and get hiring a VN or shit. Yeah, I agree, right? It doesn't like, take six If you're months. on an intermediate level and mm -hmm. you can go up and cold approach, you can build a little bit of attraction. You have the girl interested in you. She thinks you're cool. You can invite them out to the event. That's literally what we're teaching. Like we're doing that. I, I even get girls mm -hmm. and to invite their friends or get girls off on Bumble BFF. I agree with this. This is a great idea, but- if you're very new to game and you're mm -hmm. very bad with women, you're not going to be able to go up and approach girls and be able to invite them to these container events. It's just not going to happen. That's a skill you're going to actually have to develop. And isn't that, one of the isn't it easier here, to befriend a girl? Wait, 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 don't, don't, don't to, this, he just spoke for like five minutes straight, man. Let, let me finish. The other counterpoint to this might be, oh, but they see your Instagram. So even if you are a little bit socially inept, maybe they see your Instagram and it's fucking amazing and that's going to get them out. Building an Instagram like the one we just saw takes time and effort. I think it's a great thing to do. I think every single guy should work on it, but that's not going to, um, uh, what, what's going to be better is it actually if you spend that time being more confident, being more attractive, actually having that compliance from who you are as opposed to an Instagram image. I think once again, both are great. And I think we're agreeing on that. But I think what we should be arguing here is for a newbie, should you be doing the approach that Michael has spoken about previously? Because the one you're describing is very different. The one you're describing is uh, five times more cold approach than what I've heard Michael describe. And <laughs> it's also, you talk about actually hitting on the girls on that first week that you're medium. Whereas what I've heard before, if Michael can correct me if things have changed, is that you're not hitting on them, right? Is that you're actually bringing them out to event after event after event, and you get it to a point where it's built up, and then you start actually going on dates. So I actually agree with what you're saying. That's what, exactly what me and Hamza teach, and I'm not sure about Jesse. He can come in and say what he wants, but yeah, I agree with you. I, I think that's the way to go about it. Okay, I think uh, in terms of practicality, there, there's a lot of agreeing going on, and that's not really what's supposed to happen. So how about we talk about the logistical side? So specifically, Michael was saying earlier about San Francisco, Las Vegas, New York. Uh, what about the guys who just want to exist Ice, where they Ice, are? We, we, Ice, we haven't handled the newbie thing at all. It's like literally it's all Marcus talked about the last one. We talked about this, and not one time have we handled the newbie question. Can we just stick to the newbie question? Can we do that? Okay. 
Yeah, awesome. Cool. Can the guys who are newbies on the program, can you guys talk about whether or not you were able to do this having no experience previously? Can you guys talk about that? That's why I brought them on here. Tristan, go first. Okay. All right. So just to give some context on this, I did obviously cold approach for a little while. Um, then obviously stumbled upon the method of soul circle. And something that I want to ask you actually kind of a question on Marcus that you brought up. I, from my perspective, it's easier to approach a girl and then invite her out to something versus to build enough traction and then take her home and then build those skills to take her home that same day. My point is that there's the quality of girls that guys are trying to look for. You're not going to cold approach and like take those girls home. It's better to have logistics around you. Like I know Hamza, you said earlier that, you know, you could build the same amount of attraction with like your body language, your tonality and how you come off. And um, that could do the same effect as an Instagram. I just don't think that's true, especially when you're, uh, even when you're a newbie, right? If, for example, if a girl didn't know who Dan Bulzerian was, for example, and he approached a girl in the bar, she would think he was a normal guy. But if she, he messaged her on Instagram, even if he didn't, she didn't know who he was, but she saw all that working behind him, she would be way more attracted to him. So the idea about this not really being something that newbies should do right away, I just don't think it's true. I just don't believe that if you're around more women, you have more at-bats, you're around more attractive women more consistently, you get better with women. You learn how to speak to women. You don't get nervous. You don't, you don't like have the anxiety. You don't hold those things holding you back. So why would that, why would a newbie not do social circle at first and put himself in the right environment to succeed? That's the okay. part that we're trying to do. Oh, Tristan, but did you have success as a newbie? Absolutely. No, absolutely. Okay. I did not have success doing cold approach. I had success doing social circle, putting myself in the right environments. And I was around hotter, more attractive women on a more consistent basis. And then my quote unquote game got better, right? That's all it was. Jordan, guess, did so. you have success as a newbie doing uh, cold, uh, doing social circle? Bro, I, let's take it back to cold approach because I started there. I got fucking burned doing just straight cold approach. Let me go try to pick up a girl and sleep with her tonight. Like that actually kind of fucked me up in a small town for a bit. It was not a good look versus with social circle now i'm just around those women and i know that i have something to provide them regardless of what it is now i'm pretty confident in my skill set as a man and my person and my being being an interesting conversation whatever you want to talk about but i also know that hey do you want to come out to babes in toyland one of the coolest events you'll go to probably this year hey do you want to go potentially win a thousand dollars at a bikini competition hey do you want to go to the penthouse a couple buildings over and like just have drinks with a bunch of cool people, like knowing that you have that and then being in those situations all the time. Now my cold approach skills are about a thousand times better. So now when I go up and start the interaction, it's butter versus when I just focused on starting the interaction, I got fucked. So I would absolutely Tyler, recommend starting with the social circle. Tyler, did you have success as a newbie doing social circle? Uh, as a newbie doing social circle, 100%. As a newbie doing cold approach, it actually made me like worse socially. Uh, I came from being, you know, an athlete with lots of friends my whole life, played three sports. I was always popular. I did well with girls. I just wanted to get hotter girls. And then I found some cold approach videos on YouTube. And I was like, holy shit, there's people out there that teach this. So I started looking into it. And all of the the theory and the approaches and not optimizing for creating friend groups is the use, is the word that I like to use. Like just going out and approaching, you can just end up spinning your wheels and never going anywhere. And it actually made me worse socially, where I became less confident, less calibrated. And you know, I, I'm I'm sure at you know as these pickup guys or cold approach proponents would probably say I just didn't have the right structure around my approach, or maybe if I, they were my coach, they would have changed it. But at the end of the day, you know, I was listening to supposedly some of the best cold approach coaches and I was going nowhere with it. Um, and when you take the pressure off and, and really, I think the difference between uh, cold approach and, and social circle for me is like how willing you are to not sleep with a girl and just be friends with her to get the benefits of that friendship. And um you know, it, it's just a completely different priority. It's like when, when someone's cold approaching, usually the priority is, you know, sex. It's like, Hey, that's why I approached this girl. 
And, you know, if it doesn't work out with the sex, then I'll, then I'll pivot to social circle. That kind of sounds like what Marcus and, and Hamza are saying. It's like, Hey, there is some overlap. It's just the priorities are reversed with social circle. Where social circle now I approach because I plan on making her my friend. And if I end up falling into a situation where she wants to sleep with me because I have 15 girls with me and then she selects me and I had to do nothing for that, except be friends with her. You mean then, like last yeah, night? I, you I mean, mean like, like last, last night? night. I mean, yeah. like last night, I mean, like the night before that <laughs> and the night before that. And I have a I have a female friend. I'm not going to say her name, but she's a famous YouTuber. And like the moment I became friends with her, never tried to sleep with her. And she invites me to all this cool shit and introduces me to a bunch of these other famous influencers who are obviously all attractive. They're famous influencers. Um, some of them aren't that hot, though. I will say sometimes Photoshop is definitely working on their behalf. But most of them are actually really hot. And, you know, you find yourself in situations like that by networking and being friends with girls. You know, and Marcus, I've heard you say a couple of times, like, hey, if a guy's a newbie, I think when you say newbie, you mean somebody who's so socially uncalibrated and bad with girls that, like, they, like, you know, start shaking and can't talk. But me as a newbie, I was already, like, kind of just a social dude. I had had friends. So oh, you put me in an environment where I'm greatly outnumbered by beautiful women. I just end up in the right situation every single time versus going out and cold approaching one. There's not enough uh, attractive women at, at bars and public that and public venues because super hot girls aren't at public venues. At least it's really rare. And, you know, it just ends up not being as efficient. So, you know, you meet the right people and focus on friends first and make that the priority and a newbie for sure can get laid way faster than, than doing cold approach in my opinion. Okay, okay, so I'd like to answer Tristan's question, and then I'll I'll ask you guys a couple of questions as well, since I, I guess this is uh this is the point here. I think uh, yeah, Tristan, to answer your question, I think yeah, I think if you put Dan in a bar, right, he's pulling, right? There's there's no there's no uh, reality in my mind. You put Dan in a bar with a girl there, and he goes up and speaks to her. There's there's no wall where I don't see him pulling because I, I guess think he would disagree she... with you on that. Say it again. I think he would disagree with you on that. Can, can okay, you clarify so you don't think for he the could, viewers you don't who think... you're referring to? You said Dan, Dan who? Sorry, what was that? Can you clarify who Dan is to the people watching? Oh, sorry, Dan? that's Aaron, right? So okay. if he if he goes into a bar, he can easily say, hey, and by the way, this is me, right? By the way, I own, I think Michael mentioned it before, like he's got his name on uh, the bikini of a bunch of old girls. By the way, he could even... For your argument's sake, pull out his Instagram, right? We spoke about mysteries, but it was a photo game. He could just pull out his Instagram and be like, oh, by the way, this is me, right? I do this shit all the time. Like, hey, what do you do for work? Yeah, and he built his Instagram blah, through blah, blah. his social oh, circle, listen, that's through pre-selection, oh. through status. Okay, pre-selection and status are still cold approach skills. No, it's... We're talking about no, I, you, you can't tell. You He's can't, meeting it through no, a cold it's approach. absolutely not. Yeah, pre selection is not a cold approach skill. You don't get too much about that. Pre selection is not pre selection is not a cold approach skill. Pre selection is a social circle skill. Pre selection is not a cold approach skill. Pre selection is not a cold approach skill. Pre selection is not a cold approach skill. You don't get to you don't get to take that one for you don't win that one in the divorce. Pre selection is not a cold approach skill. Absolutely not. Are you telling me? Are you you're telling me what the? So if you're telling me I'm talking to a girl and I mentioned about a bunch of girls I've slept with that that is some now somehow now no that's social bragging social that's not that's bragging that's, 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 that's bragging that's status. that's terrifying zero game dhv bullshit said by the tall good looking australian guy no pre selection is not that is not pre selection oh, that, that, that is a dhv that is a dhv sex yes. coach and able to demonstrate yeah, yeah. That no that's, that's, that's exactly tall good yeah the tall good looking australian guy who goes and does and you grab girls by the back of the hair and they get sexually turned on i remember you told me that one too pre selection is not a cold approach yes pre selection Selection is not a cold approach skill. Pre-selection is a yes, social is. circle skill. So wait, Marcus, you okay, believe you can teach a newbie this. to go let's and grab her you're hair super triggered over and this. brag about Let me put it this way. Okay, wait, wait. Let's let Mark speak. Guys, guys, pre-selection is an attraction trigger that can be used both if you go and cold approach a woman or if you hit her up on Instagram and you're using it as a social circle. Let's, whatever you want to do. But they're not equal, it. though. You're, but, you're, you're using pre-selection. Let him continue. Let him continue. But when I'm yeah, cold approaching, or if Dan girls in person hits a lot harder, or if Dan is cold approaching, you can still use that skill of pre-selection. Whether it's 
you got, you know, uh, girls in the club that you've gone and spoke to and cold approach first and they've seen that. Alex, my business partner, uses that shit all the time. He will go and approach a bunch of girls in front of the hot girls. And mm-hmm. yeah, guess what? He might pull them by the back of the hair first. And then that's pre-selection, right? But it's still a skill or attraction. Pull them by the back of the hair is pre-selection? Yeah, if you're uh, with a girl insanity. and you're sexually... Insanity. Her, you love insanity. insanity. Fucking insanity. On, Please make sure I get a recording of this. Please. I, Please no, make Alex sure I get a recording. You don't understand what pre-selection Alex, is. You don't understand what mate choice copying is. Wait, you know why? You're going to teach that. It's to the it's new is Latin pre-selection. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. The way a lot of these guys carry themselves, they walk a different way. The facial expression, the way they pull her hair communicates the pre-selection. Guys who don't fuck girls don't know how to pull a girl's hair. If you pull her hair properly, she knows. I know, guys, this is madness. Just let, let them talk, guys. This is just madness. Let them talk. Just let them talk. I know it's fucking hilarious. Don't send to a noob. Are you serious? That's what you This is how guys get a case, bro. teaching a newbie cold approach. If that's your version of pre-selection, you are literally teaching men to sexually assault women if they are newbies and they don't know. Okay, what all right. Now you're framing. You're, 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 you can't this is frame what Dan was talking way, about dude. earlier. He's talking about how it's gone so political now that we can't even talk about sexually escalating on a girl without some guy being like, that's sexual assault. No, if the girl but is pulling a girl's hair that you don't know could with her, be sexual you assault. Hand up the back how could you not see that? If you're not the guy with hair, pre-selection you're and you're not the guy who knows what he's doing, pulling her hair in the wrong way, yeah, she's going to be unhappy with that. Can we at least agree with that? Okay, well, you guys are framing it as sexual harassment we're talking yeah, about no no no, no, no. We're, no, no. we're not we're not framing it as sexual harassment we're not doing that we're telling you the world does it I, no, okay no, no, no. but no, no. Let's stop say you are god damn it guys listen we're not, cool cool cool. Cool. we're not jordan saying it's sexual assault we're not saying it's sexual assault we're telling stop talking that. bro jordan said that not what's happening is that the world will frame you as sexual assault of course we agree with you guys of course can i clarify my point then yes go ahead jordan yeah so so let's talk about this so if you walk up to a girl as a newbie who doesn't have the pre-selection that you're talking about, we're talking about no, no, teaching, I'm not talking about a right? newbie yeah. right now. We're, we can agree on that. Me. If you no, tell no, the newbie, if you grab the girl's hair, if she doesn't, she doesn't right. like it, she is going to classify that as, hey, this is. She is. She is. She is. She is. You guys make a good He's talking about himself, not a newbie. We're not, listen, we weren't These talking about newbies. We were talking, about, talking about himself. Pre-selection we we are shouting setting. through our microphones through Zoom. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's because people keep interrupting Marcus. If you want, like, just let him talk. He's co- yeah. telling how he communicates pre-selection. Okay, okay, yeah. Po- let, let, uh, let's do that. So I will give Marcus exactly three minutes of uninterrupted Marcusisms. How about that? So I am Appreciate going it. to... Mute everyone and let's have Marcus speak. All right, perfect. Thank you, my man. So, yes, uh, let, let's cover this first point, and then I want to move on. So, Jordan, I agree, okay, with the fact that if I have a newbie, I'm never telling them to pretty much ever physically escalate on the girl in the club. Like, even making out, I'm telling them not to do it, okay? So, I agree. Like, newbies usually have so little social understanding that I don't want to make any high-risk play like that. So any escalation is always going to be verbal because if you escalate verbally on a girl, she can easily just be like, look, I'm not into this. I'm going to go back to my friends and it's all good. Like, happy days. If you try to, like, even make out, yeah, they're not going to probably call it sexual assault. But if you try to make out and she rejects you there, it's really hard to, like, come back from that. So typically with a newbie, I'm saying never sexually escalate physically in the club. It's always going to be verbal. Now for myself, what I was trying to like display here is if you look like you're having really good interactions with women, especially if it's sexual and other girls see that in the club, they're going to be turned on by that. It's going to be like pre-selection. They're going to think if you can get this girl and this girl's really into you, or if it's like multiple girls, and that is a more advanced skill. I don't expect newbies to be running around the club doing this. That's why I said me and my business partner. But the point there is Dan isn't a newbie, right? That's why I'm talking about it from my perspective. Dan, is someone that could do this he's actually pretty good with women right so that is something you could use as a cold approach skill using that attraction trigger pre-selection now on to on to now talking about the three guys that just came in look me and hamza could get three guys to give testimonials on being a noob in cold approach and it going really well for him right now all you guys have mentioned before that you've started off in cold approach and to be honest all you guys seem very socially aware okay just in the way you spoke you spoke with a lot of confidence you had really good tonality um you guys if you came to me as a client 
and was like, look, cold approach is something I'm thinking. I mean, um, social circle is something I'm thinking of like involving my game. I'd be like, yeah, just based off that, like introduction of you guys, I probably think you're ready for that. Like you guys seem socially aware enough to be able to do that. I can't imagine you guys at a party being very uncalibrated and creepy, but if you were to say, look, that's all I'm going to invest my time into, and I'm going to spend ages doing it, like the way Michael demonstrated to me last time, I don't think that would be as effective as if you spent more time actually developing your skills through a cold approach, which is, it sounds like, I forget who mentioned it, but one of you guys said my cold approach skills have actually gotten a lot better because I was put in environments where I felt a little bit more confident. So I agree with that. That's a great way to go about it. It just wouldn't be me spending all this time being like essentially an event planner to get to that level, right? I do more of a approach, approach like Miguel spoke about, which was befriending the um, promoters, befriending the guys that work at the club, getting a little little like pre-selection and confidence that way is like maybe bringing a girl you know to the club like one of your friends and slowly building it up i think that's a better um way of escalating social circle as opposed to just going like a thousand percent investing all your time and money in it especially if you're a newbie i wouldn't really describe you guys as too newbie the way i'm seeing you at least now so uh i will yield my three minutes of time thank you, <laughs> thank you <guys. laughs> hamza you're next yeah so a lot of the the my issue with a lot of the assertions that you guys are making is that you're framing it as something that's exclusive to cold approach or, or uh, to social circle but it also does apply to cold approach like the instagram thing can apply to cold approach pre-selection can apply to cold approach it's not exclusive to social circle and uh i wish ice told me we could bring clients on because i've had a few clients who've been promoters they they just stood around at the tables all if the time. If we had more people on this call, it would be even more insane. Yeah, <laughs> no. Or or like have them record a video and then share it here. But like I've had promoters who just sit, sit around at tables at clubs and they take pictures with girls. Their Instagrams are popping and they're not closing any chicks. I've had guys who are fraternity dudes. They go to parties that are mostly Sounds like they need MLA. Let's get them in MLA. Sounds like they're having that issue. Or like actual one of the issues is a lot of mindset issues, right? So some of the guys who think that cold approach failed them, yeah, they were totally working with scammers and you guys worked with uh, with Michael and Michael's a good coach. He knows what he's doing. So of course you're going to get results. But I feel like if you also did work with a cold approach coach who knew what he was doing, you would also get results because you guys are calibrated and you are not like 100% hard cases. But yeah. one of the issues is a lot of these guys, they have who say cold approach didn't work for them is they have limiting beliefs around showing like intent with girls and owning that sexual uh like communication with women and then women feel that they feel like all right this guy doesn't know what he's doing he's insecure uh and going off of the hair pulling thing right if a guy tries to pull a girl's hair a lot of the times he'll pull from like the ends of the hair so she can tell all right he has no clue how to pull a woman's hair but if he pulls from the scalp it shows pre-selection which which tells her that he's done it before and he's gotten results with women it's very simple very interesting yeah but i think there's okay. levels to pre-selection like in that scenario that same guy say his name is bob um what Miguel, your video is gonna was not hit on. harder oh, okay what form of pre-selection would work better it's kind of like a nutrition like, yes, you can get calories from like a sticker bar, but it'll probably be better if you got it from some that's nutritional dense. Same with the pre selection. Bob can either pull the hair or Bob can be in a position where that girl that he's pulling her hair, he also has five other girls with him as well. So, like, I think when it comes to results, yeah, you can get results with cold approach. Yeah, you can get results with soul circle. The ceiling, I think, is a lot higher for soul circle. So, like, a max cold approach results might be a seven, maxing out your soul circle effort will be like a 10. Uh, Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I'm just a little bit confused at what point you guys are making. Like I, I get, I get kind of what Marcus and Hamza are saying, which is that if, if you pull a woman's hair correctly, it's going to show that you've been with women before. That's kind of a reach to call that pre-selection because that's not what pre-selection is defined as, but it's an indicator that you have been with women before. Sure. I'll give you that. I'll concede that point. But if you're going to call that pre-selection and this debate is about whether cold approach or social circle is better, wouldn't it be easier 
then spending all this time getting super, super good with women and doing thousands of approaches to get super smooth at pulling a girl's hair, then to just have a newbie go make five female friends and actually have real pre-selection, like how are you going to say that the, the, the cold approach method of quote unquote pre-selection, which like I said, I still don't agree that that actually fits in the definition, is easier or more effective than just helping a newbie get five female friends and having real legit pre-selection that's a direct indicator that he hangs out with girls and showing up with those girls to an event. There's no, that, that it's so infinite, it's an infinite amount less effort in terms of how quickly you can get that guy results and actually get him real pre-selection. It's no real pre-selection. Pre-selection is other girls being around you and liking you. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? What do you, You're how do you pre-selected. Pre okay, so it's like an Amazon question, review, right? What is better? I would prefer the guy to actually, right, have the skills to be good with women and women see that. Right. What you're trying to create is like some type of fake pre-selection with what you're showing is, okay, I've offered these girls like a party. They've come to it. And now I'm kind of pretending that they're into me, but really they're just here for the party. They don't really give a fuck about me most of the time, unless you've actually had some skills and built some attraction there. Right. So the reason I'm calling it fake is because if I actually get Bob, the newbie to just stand around, like if I just say, Hey, Bob, come over here. These are five girls. I'm um, just pretend you're friends with them. Right. I would much rather Bob to actually learn to build attraction with women, have real pre-selection because it's only so limited. What happens when, okay, some girl goes, oh, look, there's Bob over there with five hot girls. I'm going to go talk to him. And then Bob has no idea what the fuck he's doing. He's a little bit nervous. And he, the girls quickly, and come on, the girls fucking know, quickly realize there's no pre-selection here. Especially if they say, how do you know the girls? And he fumbles and the girl's like, oh, you invited us to this party. Yeah, it's really cool. And they give this look like, Girls know when other girls are using guys. Like, it's very obvious to mm -hmm. them. Now, yeah, with you, Tyler, like, I don't see that <laughs> happening, right? With you, Tyler, if you're at a party and you're with a bunch of girls, I would argue that you've already got those skills to actually build some level of attraction. And I don't think you're hanging around girls looking like they don't fucking know you or want to hang around you. But that will happen with Bob 100% of the time. So I think but learning to build female why? friends and bring them to a party is great, but you also need to learn to build attraction and have real pre-selection. <clears throat> yeah, so how, so does Bob, how does Bob ever become friends with those girls without you introducing him to those girls? No, I'm That's, just saying that... I wouldn't do that, by the way. That was just an example. So what I want Bob to do is go out and get these rejections, get these failures, which isn't a mm -hmm. fun thing to hear, right? Is it a good marketing ploy? I'm not going to put an ad up on Instagram saying, hey, who wants to get rejected and good with women, right? It sucks, okay? At the beginning, it's a little bit difficult, but I would much rather that for Bob because he's actually going to learn the skills. And so now when he goes and approaches women, they're like, oh, he carries himself, like Hamza said, in a different way. He seems a little bit more confident. He's actually more grounded. And there's a lot more to that than just RSD cold approaching. RSD just spam approaching. I agree. I think it might've been you, Tyler, that said you actually got worse. That is so common. A lot of guys almost get like PTSD, like semi-traumatized from like negative interactions because they don't actually know how to cope or deal with it or create their right narrative around it. So yeah, I agree. If you're just like fucking mindlessly like approaching girls and getting rejected all the time, that does nothing for you as well. I think it does actually have to be a very like calculated approach to learning a skill, right? That has to be the way you go about it. And that's why I'm arguing like cold approach with a coach versus cold uh, social circle with a coach because i'm sure like michael would probably say the same thing there's probably a lot of social circle programs out there that are fucking rubbish that guys would do and you know I, by the way after the last debate i had so many guys hit me up saying like i've tried social circle it doesn't work i agree with you it's crap that's um, funny i had i had 40 dudes come and like we had several leads just sign up for our program right after that debate that's funny. That, that yeah, you marketed it pretty well. I'm not going to lie. Um, that's what a lot of people said in the comments. It felt like a, a, a marketing ploy, right? Um, so I think you do talk about your program um, very well. I, I agree with that. And that's why, like, for me, I'm saying, like, it's not a good marketing ploy for me to be like, yo, guys, uh, come join me and get rejected a bunch, but you're going to be like, <laughs> you're going to be a much better person for it. Like, no one wants to hear that, right? Mm -hmm. We all know the marketing um, uh, angle that I'm taking isn't fucking great, right? Like it, it's not, but I, I truly believe that's the better way. Like I'm here trying to get guys better with women. And that's why I do incorporate like social circle. I'm not sitting here like shitting on and being like social circles, awful, blah, blah. I'm just saying that like, you need to be at a certain level, like Tyler is for, for example, that I'm seeing now. Right. Um, but most of the guys in this space, like we see him on the playing with fire. This is the example I gave last time playing with fire, like um, uh, speed dates is look that a lot of guys aren't at the level where they can go to these parties and they can be pulling goals from. 
So it's about getting into that space first. So to go to the pre-selection thing, what are the actual concerns that we're addressing with pre-selection, right? Like the reason that we are trying to show pre-selection is the number two things. There are two things going through a girl's mind. One, is this man going to hurt me physically? And two, is he going to embarrass me socially? Because if he hurts me physically, I don't reproduce. If he embarrasses me socially, I get kicked out of the tribe and I don't reproduce. So whether you have fucked the girl or not, if she is your friend, her presence, as long as, yeah, it's not her just standing awkwardly to the side of you, that's not what anybody is suggesting, right? What we are suggesting is make a fucking friend. If you have a friend who is a female, her presence says... Jordan doesn't beat women and Jordan doesn't embarrass you socially. That's pre-selection. Just have uh, already have a leg up. And something, and something, I, I, something I want to add on that onto that yeah, go tell is me. yeah. So something I want oh, to add on to that, sorry. Marcus, is that by your definition of what you called fake pre-selection, by your definition of fake pre-selection, you're saying Dan Bolzerian is fake because that's the exact same thing he well, does. No, 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 he, no, I'm not. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Explain it to me. Point. Explain hold I'd on, love to on. hear this. So, no, no, your idea of having the Instagram, having the social status behind you, having the girl showing compliance in the, vi- uh, in the photos and videos and the content, you did imply earlier that that would be a fake form of pre-selection. No, 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 no. I'm not saying and that's you, fake. Ho- no, 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 no. Let me explain. You Let me explain. Did, you, let me Hold explain on. what i meant by fake is okay. it's like me um working at mcdonald's right but when a girl asks me what i do is i say oh i work at this like really big international firm and oh i make so much money and oh it's amazing and yeah i travel on private jets to places and blah 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 that would be like fake uh attraction trigger for let's say like money right so I would never tell my students if you work at McDonald's and earn like $5 an hour to say that you're like a billionaire or a millionaire or something, right? The same way that Bob like doesn't have the skills to actually create friendships or the skills to actually be around hot girls or the skills to actually have attraction from these girls, that if you just tell him, hey, girls, uh, you can come to this party and that's the reason they're coming and then they're around him and they're giving these like weird looks like fuck, Bob's a bit creepy, but fuck it, we're here for the party, then that would be like fake pre-selection. That's what I mean. I'm not saying that just like, Having yeah, but so then that by that definition, the ignite party is fake pre-selection. The ignite the Playboy Mansion is fake pre-selection. The ignite party is fake pre-selection. Most of the girls didn't know Dan beforehand or going to that party or even met him before. No, but the thing and is, back to, Dan, hold on, hold Dan on, hold, is a, hold on. Okay, go on. You, you've been raving me a lot this time, man. I was just saying something, and another thing that you said is you feel like if he went into a bar, he absolutely can pull. He yeah. would disagree with you. There's videos of him saying, and where they wanted to film a scene with him hitting on a girl, he's like. I don't even know how to hit on a girl. He would disagree with you. There's videos of him disproving this exact point. I, so there's the idea no that way in hell. Listen, there's no way in hell. There's a, there, that there, guy there, that has that much in his, It's let literally me, in me, his book, and he literally says this, and he would disagree with you. I agree. That he, I agree that he probably thinks like, yo, I've never gone into a bar for so long hit on a girl. I'm so used to them just hitting me up in DMs. I'm so used to them just like coming up to me and like, I know who you are. I agree with that. He probably feels like he has no idea what he's doing. But you can't tell me if I said, okay, listen, gun to your head. You have to pull a girl tonight from a club or I will fucking execute you. There's no way in hell that guy doesn't walk into a bar and he's able to pull a girl, right? Because even if he was like, oh, fuck it. Okay, listen, I'm just going to go in and lead with like massive value. Tell him who I am, blah, blah. That guy's, I agree. He probably feels like out of his depth, right? I, I can agree with that. He probably feels like he hasn't done it in forever. The, I agree the exact, with that. The, the exact he's frames. Still, he's still, he knows what he's doing with women, right? He, yeah, he, the exact he's phrase. He's got a lot of experience. Yeah, and he literally says, don't hit on them in his book. That's- yeah, so the exact phrase exactly is in chapter two of the book. It says, go up to every girl you see and go talk to them, which we agree with, but just don't hit on them. That was the thing. It's where we have another disagreement because we're talking about the newbie thing. And also we have Luke on here who was a newbie. Uh, the, the the problem was the showing intent to create attraction as opposed to building a friend group in order to create jealousy and make choice copying, sexy sons, hypothesis, and pre-selection in order to create attraction. Those are two different things. The way we do it does not require hardly any rejection, has an incredibly high success rate and builds exponentially along with connecting you with more guys and getting you into any party you want. Dan doesn't ask me to recruit girls for his parties on accident. It's because I know how to do this. And the majority of the girls I bring, I don't know them. 
I don't have any idea who they are. There is just a technique that we use where we use social status and pre-selection in order to get girls to, to hang out with us. So in the case that I'm talking about, my clients are around 1,000 beautiful women. And then well, let's go to this other thing you were saying just before I skip over this. The concept where you say, hey, Tyler, you seem calibrated. Hey, Jordan, you seem calibrated. Tristan, you seem calibrated. But they told you they tried cold approach and it made them worse. So why do they seem calibrated? They seem calibrated because they did social circle. That's why they're calibrated. They're surrounded by beautiful women, which calibrates them to beautiful women. I am surrounded by very, very, like uh, my closest friends, you know, it's going to be like guys like Bradley, Wes Watson, uh, Dan Bilzerian, Adam Sosnick. I'm, I'm friends with Patrick Bet David, those guys like that. I'm around them. Do I know? How, but I. But the thing is, because I'm around them, I become more comfortable talking to famous people because of that. Because I'm around these women, I become more comfortable talking to them. And I disagree. We, a, we can have a disagreement. But hold on. I do not believe right. women sleep with you because of your intent. They sleep with you because of your status. And you, you, there's many ways to build status. And you guys are like, yes, just the way you walk makes girls know that you fuck other women. I will. I'd like you to come to Vegas and we'll try that out with a couple of girls and see how that works for you. Like the we hottest girls week. on stage. Wait, Mike, Beautiful. I would come also up. add that that's the and, dishonest and Marcus, thing. Hold on, come up, come up. And Marcus, no, I go to you, I know, I know. And Marcus, you will not have to wait in line to go to any club any night you're there because I will just make one phone call and you can get it anywhere because that's how social circle works. And Tristan can do it too. And he doesn't even fucking live here. That's how social circle works. That's the difference that we're trying to make. So that's the difference that we're trying to say. They became calibrated because they're around beautiful women all the time, not because they went and did lots of cold approach and cold approach didn't work for them. I understand your flavor of cold approach is different from all the weirdos out there. Hamza and Marcus, I they got the good your cold approach. social circle is Every, different from all the other guys out but, there. But, but, but here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing is, the difference is, the difference is, yeah, I can prove the it. The, the, hold on, the difference no, no, is, listen. the difference is, I can prove it. The difference is, I can prove it. The difference is, I'm in Dan Bull's area. What are you proving? Again, what you? What, what do you mean? What am I not proving? You're saying mine's different, so you're telling me there's other social circle coaches that have this. There's no, other no, social I'm circle coaches that, that have mine this. Mine is different from all the weirdos like ours. It's beautiful, but it's, it's mine. Like but no, I, I don't. Oh, I'm sorry, Marcus. Too. I don't. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not disagreeing with you. I don't, you yours said probably it in a little is. bit of a sarcastic um, manner. Right? I, I, I apologize. The, I didn't mean to say it's sarcastic. That was my my point. Okay, same as all the creeps. My point is. My point is. Mine is different. There is no one in social circle doing this. Not even one percent of this. Not even 1% of this, okay? There's no I'm not no arguing doing that you're the same yeah. as everyone else. I'm arguing that your way isn't good for newbies. Again, okay, wait, cool. we keep going back. You, right, it's that, I agree. That, like, and even after we've had four newbies come on here and say that it was good for newbies, we're going to keep saying I'm it does saying, Listen, newbies. I'm not saying... My point is we're comparing cold approach to social circle, right? Yes. Now, everyone on here... As I said, weren't newbies. They all at least tried cold approach. Now we can't Correct. go back and, and, and also tried it. We, and let me, let me let me just finish. Uh, sorry, Tristan, let me just finish. Let me just finish. We can't actually go back and see what these guys were like before and after or compare them. I could bring on three newbies that had my cold approach program that are fucking killing it, right? Um, so, I mean, having three guys come on to give a testimonial saying, oh, we were newbies and they all happen to be like very calibrated right now is hard for me to believe. And I, I'm actually curious, like someone like Jordan, for example, right? How long did you actually cold approach before? Like, how long did you struggle? How long was this awful time that you had before you got into? Four years. And I think in my life, I've had a same day lay from cold approach probably three times. But I do want okay, to go so back to this newbie four point years of cold before approach. we go on to that. Because we've said that Bob is too creepy to make a female friend. And so he can't get pre-selection. So then how the fuck does Bob go pull some girl's hair to get pre-selection? If we're talking okay, about you're just you, being retarded teach Bob we to make mentioned, I don't know how many that's times the I wouldn't even get Bob can't make a friend, that's what we can't get laid. But uh, Jordan, he's, he's, he's so not saying, so, right now, yeah, hold on, Jordan, just real quick. He's not saying that the newbie would go pull the hair. I understand yeah, what you're saying, Jordan, but he's not saying the newbie right. would pull the hair, yeah. But like, why not just teach Bob how to make a friend? That seems like a way better place. Why not just teach Bob how to make a friend? Why not just teach Bob how to make a friend? Okay, so Okay, yeah, let's mute her. Oh, my, my argument would be, I think you could have pulled that girl to home without pulling her hair. That would be my argument. I think I, that it was that's unnecessary not the level. That's make it. I'm not saying I, the only reason I was ever able to pull a girl in my No, no, I'm not, I don't know. What I'm saying is you took, an unnecessary, you took an unnecessary risk. Like I do what it requires to get the win. I don't need to do extra stuff, spin well, girls I, around, again, market them. This is good. Another disagreement. I think you need to try build as much compliance as you possibly can. Yes, right? so and, I would and, and no one's rather, got more compliance me than me, so I agree I with you. I would much rather, right, 
if I would much rather a girl, if I was to like wave my magic wand and say, okay, would you be like five out of 10? And like, okay, yeah, I want to go home with a maybe. Or would I want it to be like 12 out of 10, which is like begging to come home with me, ditching a friend. Yeah, I want the 12 out of 10. Now, how do I get to the 12 out of 10 if I'm standing there? Yeah, if I pull her hair and she becomes a little bit more turned on and attracted, that's going to help. If even though she's down to fuck, I would still find out how she wants to be fucked, how to make sure it's going to be amazing for her. Build that fantasy up. To give your analogy, right? It's if... I would much you rather have, have a thousand girls at a party than house. ten girls at a party, right? Not when so, you're yeah, at the club. Hold on, Luke, 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 Luke wait, wait, wait for him to do that. Luke, wait for him to finish. Wait, oh, no, Luke, wait no, for no, him no, to finish. Yeah, go for it, Luke. Luke, go ahead and speak. Luke, go. Yeah, I was going to say, dude, if, like, if she likes to be her head to be pulled, then do that at home behind closed doors and pull her to your house. And Why then do are that you behind closed obsessed doors? obsessed with this there one no point of pulling hair? For you to do that at the club. Why, why can I not do it? The, I feel like I'm around, but why can't I do it at the club? I'm actually curious. It's, no, it's kind of let's do no, 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 Marcus, Marcus. Marcus. There's no benefit to doing it at the club, bro. Hold on, so, Marcus. Yeah. If you're doing if you're doing this at a party that I'm throwing, go for it. My point is like, if you do this in Vegas and the wrong girl says the wrong thing, you're not just banned from M, from from fucking Hakkasan. No, you're banned from course, every MGM property course. in the fucking by the way, country. By the way, I choke a lot of girls in the club. I pull a lot of girls in. The, I'd never give this to students, right? Like I tell guys, like don't choke girls in the club, right? Like I want to make this very clear. Can we clip this? He me. tells guys to not choke girls in the club. I de- I agree with that. We yeah, agree I, on this that. Is, this is about yeah, me, so right? Like I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there that don't have the ability to do this, right? They're awful in bed. Now I've been sex coaching now for I don't know two three years, right? So I know the skills, right? I've been coaching game for I don't know actually seven years now. So yeah, I know when a girl is ready to be choked. I know how to do it properly. I know how the girl is going to get super turned on from this. Most newbies don't. Everyone in this call, I would argue, doesn't. Right? Everyone in this call would be too scared to do it. Right? So yeah, I'm not going to teach. No, we're in. We're alone in my bedroom. I just rather do it in the bedroom. I just rather do it in the bedroom. I don't have a problem doing it at all. Scared to do it in the club, right? You're worried about what girls might think. I'm not worried about what other girls might think. I'm worried about the literal fact that there's security right there, and if the girl takes things the wrong way. You're right okay, so here's the thing. Hold on. Has this ever happened? Has girls? I, I don't know if they don't do, do this in Australia. Do women in Australia ever? By the way, I've gained take all around drugs? The world. I'm going to Vegas. Go for sure. Like, so, uh, so let's do Vegas. Do women wherever you go? Do they ever take drugs? Do they ever take drugs when it, whenever you go out? Do they ever I take mushrooms? Ne- I will never. never. I will never pull a girl that's fucked up on drugs. Yeah, totally, unless, I totally agree with you. I, I totally. Like has a girl ever drank alcohol? We're at a festival, Hold like on. potting together. So, yeah. so, so you're at a festival. Do people at festivals sometimes do drugs? Or or drink? Do people drink sometimes? I've never been to a festival. Most no, no, I know. I just, I just, drugs. I just want you to say yes. That's beautiful. Can a woman in that situation take signs and be uncalibrated with the way she receives them, even though you're perfectly calibrated? Can that ever why happen? You, where why are you saying having fucked up girls? No, I wouldn't talk to them. And so I'm not talking oh, about fucked up girls. Not, I'm not t- it's not an answer, dude. Uh, my, my point is, what What's happens in these situations? My point is, happens what's these situations? What if your girl is completely sober and her friend who saw you is fucked up? What happens then? Then she goes to security. Your friend's like, yeah, no, 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 everything's fine. Come and over, she... and my girl will be like, what are you talking about? I'm into this guy. Go away. Okay. Well, 100% chance that that's going to happen. Got it. Yep, exactly. All right. Got All right. it. Sounds good. Point. Do it. It's fine. It's, it's no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm not, not only am not, I, am I not afraid to do it, I can't wait to film you doing it in Las Vegas. Let's meet up, man. This is going to be Let's super do exciting. You doing right, the choking in, at nightclubs in Las Vegas is going to be incredible. Perfect. Uh, it's, right. it is I, a sight to see yeah a lot of people michael really michael i also me. i yeah, wanted to try it on like masha did or yeah i wanted i wanted to try it on like masha did a kindly myers i want you to try it on caitlin Ron. that's what i want to see that's what i want to see yeah i want the girls who are tens i will introduce you to the girls who are tens and then you can try it on them that's what i actually want to see all right we're gonna have a great time sounds for sure i think that's what you should do i think that's i'll be there cool i'll be there in april i'll do the same thing. okay beautiful let's do it let's do it let's do that i so, would you talk about compliance compliance is all i, I know you're very surprised it's by this i know you've probably never seen someone do it and you've probably been no 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 no, no, no. that's that's where you're wrong i've seen i've seen, I've seen several guys do it i've seen several guys do it that's where you're completely wrong. do it well yes no yeah, it's that, just I, interesting I do it effectively, I do it effectively all the time you're getting towards this yeah. one Really? So, just, so, 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 so we're the ones who are reactive, but there's four pickup like artists that debate me, but I'm the one who's reactive. Got yeah, it. You do choke nah. girl, and the guy's like, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Like, th- this is what's happening right now. It's hilarious. Yeah, I want to bring the point to the original argument. Of which one should a beginner start with? So for anyone watching this, you're a beginner. Part of it is where do you start, and then where do you want to end? So let's look at the end point first. You've been doing cold approach for how long? Myself? Yeah. Yeah, the end point, I'm doing social circle right now as well. 
So I've been right. doing cold but approach for like seven years. Course. Welcome Social to Metavaxing. For like three yeah, years. so let's look at it this way. For a guy who's been doing cold approach for seven years, when you come to Las Vegas, you're going to be talking to girls in the GA. For a client that wants to get the best end results by the time they're done with their journey, which avenue do you think is going to optimize? Well, no, apparently Mark is uh, bringing me well, to no, his, no, no, no. Let me ask you. Girls. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this. Take yourself, Marcus. Yeah. Which scenario do you get better results? If you only done a cold approach and you're cold approaching the GA Las Vegas, or you also did Soul Circle and now you're you're gaming in the DJ booth? Bro, you, Marcus, so, specifically. Dude, I'm doing what? the reason I'm going to Vegas is because we sponsored a FHM Top 100 event, right? That's why I'm going there. Did so, you cold approach your way into that event? That event trouble? planning? Wait a so, second, event planning? We need to we need to hook up on this about your event planning. Have I ever said I, I've made the point multiple times because I know you guys do this. I've made the point multiple times that social circle is good. It's just not optimal for beginners. Now, I'm not a beginner. Here, here, here. I social what? circle. In Sydney, I have events set up, right? I do a lot of sex parties there. We have like these weekly container events you're talking about. As I said, um, my partner that hosts a podcast with me, she sponsored an event over in Vegas. We're heading there for that. Social circle so is do you amazing. Think, it's so incredible. Do you think everyone who's and once not you get a beginner, really good so you cold approach, you yeah. should do social circle. So you're saying if you're not a beginner, then social circle is the best thing you could do. Yeah, once you've got really good at cold approach, you should do social circle. Agreed. All right. So what do you consider a beginner? So you said a beginner is not going to be able to talk to a girl and invite her to an event. So what do you define as a beginner? Sorry, one second. Okay. So what I would define as a beginner is majority of guys that are in this space and looking for help. So I would say a mm -hmm. beginner is someone like uh, who has maybe slept during a couple of girls who would self-describe as not being able to go out and actually like approach because they're too nervous to, or mm -hmm. they do approach and it doesn't go very well. They get rejected all the time. Um, they're, they're kind of the metrics. Now, of course, it's not going to be as black and white as that, but generally that's kind of what I describe as a beginner. Perfect. So here, would you, you disagree with that? Let's take Bob. No, I just want to so, understand sorry. the starting point and let's go down a journey. So, uh, sorry, I just want to make sure. Do, do you like. agree with that beginner assessment or do you have a different beginner assessment? No, no, I just want to get clarified on what you consider beginners so we can put well, let's meaning agree to on it because that's what I, that's what I, yeah, proposed. I agree. All right. So we'll okay, say a beginner agree. is okay. someone that is uncomfortable talking to girls. He's been with a couple of girls, so he's not a virgin. So that's good. So he's been able to successfully communicate a girl and build an or attraction. Or he could be a virgin, but yeah. yeah sleep yeah. with her. I agree. Um, all right, cool. Let's say it's a virgin. We'll start off there. So mm -hmm. let's just do a hypothetical scenario comparing side by side, apples to apples. This Bob, who's a, let's say he slept with two girls. He's quite uncomfortable with, with girls. Let's take him down a journey of what his life looks like a week, a month, and a year doing just your program and then doing our program. Your program, he's talking to girls, getting rejected because success is sleeping now, with them. Before we do that, do you know what my talk. program is? Uh, it's helping people with cold approach, I believe, and get better at cold approach. Okay, no. So my program is, is getting better with women. So I actually do incorporate but, social circle within that once they reach that competency level. Yeah, I got you. So okay. starting with cold approach would be the interaction ending with hooking up with the girl. Doing social circle is success is getting her Instagram and inviting her to an event. Take that same person, Bob. If he's just going out mm -hmm. for a full month, crashing and burning, talking to a girl, getting rejected, talking to a girl, getting rejected, talking to a girl, getting rejected, mm -hmm. talking to a girl, hooking up with her, talking to a girl, getting rejected, 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 talking to a girl, sleeping with her, talking to a girl, getting rejected, talking to a girl. That's what his Bob's life looks like it. in a month. Yeah. yeah. So that's him killing it, is him hooking up with a couple girls. Well, on the 10th approach, yeah, that, that, a bunch. Consider that pulling it. But I get your point. Yeah. All right. So let's say even worse then. So he's going, approaching a lot longer with no success in your scenario. I was being generous. Well, no, no, no. So, so we needed to find then. success. So what do you mean by success? You, you just mean success like then. just having sex would, with a girl? I would sex hooking up with the girl. Yeah. For the guys that joined your program, I imagine the better with girls is like a way to quantify that is being with higher quality girls. Maybe some quantity, but eventually quality as well. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But for very beginners, like in that first week, it sounds like you're describing me, like mm -hmm. approach, approach, approach. I'm not expecting my like Bob to be like sleeping with a girl in the first week, to be fair, right? Like right, just to perfect. make my point so, clear, like I'm not here saying like week. Bob's getting laid in a so, week with cold approach. Like he's, when I say success, like that first week, I probably want Bob to like start developing some good mindsets around. Ooh, perfect. So he Tell approaches. Tell me what Bob looks like for the first month. 
define the first so, week, the second week, third week, and fourth week. Take me down the journey of Bob under your scenario. Okay, perfect. Just so, approach for the first month. Yeah, perfect. Is Bob taking like a program with me or is he just like an online client that I'm telling, like giving some advice? Um, he's, he's, he's your student. doing just cold approach, but no social pool at all. Okay. No Let's just say he's like a mastermind guy. So they pay like six and dollars a month. Like we're not going to talk yeah. about like my 10K two week program. It's going to be very different, right? So sure. let's say Bob's For just sure. paying like six, nine bucks a month and he's he's just chilling online and he's going to go out like a few times a week, right? Is this like, he's how many hours is Bob putting in? Like three nights a week? Yeah, sure. Okay, so he's putting in like a, a three nights a week. So that first week, I'm expecting Bob to start building some good mindsets about actually approaching. So when he goes out, he's going to get rejected, like you said. I want that to start shifting from actually feeling like rejection and like, fuck, me as Bob sucks and women don't like me and this is horrible to more, okay, this is just a perception that the girl is seeing and that's what they're rejecting. So it's not me. It's just the fact that maybe my haircut is shit. I'm not holding eye contact. I'm facing softly. <laughs> I have bad tonality. Like, these are the objective things that I can actually change about myself to actually improve. So when I go up and get rejected, I'm just seeing this as like feedback now. So it's almost yeah. like an experiment, like very objective. Mm -hmm. I go out and I do this action. What is the result that I'm getting from this? So if it's a negative result, I might even ask the girl as Bob. That's the advice I'd give is like, hey, look, I'm Bob. Um, girlfriend just broke up with me. I'm trying to get better with women. Sorry, I'm about to leave. Is there anything I could do better? right? What did you not like about me? Now, of course, you're going to mm -hmm. get some shitty advice sometimes, but the girl might say like, yo, you need to speak up. Like you seem so shy. Oh my God, what the fuck? Or like your clothes are shit. So then maybe we told Bob to get a haircut. He wears some nice clothes. He starts building these better mindsets. That would be like my very baseline expectation for the first yeah. week. Now, as you said, maybe some Bob's like close in 10 days, but that's like the exception to like what is actually going on. So that's like the first week. Next week, I start giving Bob some more uh, like material lines that he can actually rely on to start displaying who he is right so i would listen to him mm -hmm. and say okay um you've gone up and you've said oh my god listen hey can i be honest with you and the girl's like hey what's up you look absolutely fucking amazing that could be a direct opener we give him or it could just be like hey guys you look so fucking friendly and you're just creating friends as you called it right like use that and then later on show intent when you actually have some value. So that could be something I get into practice in that second week. And then maybe some things to start showing some value. So like Bob could say, as I mentioned before, hey, what do you guys do for work? Right? They're like, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Hey, it's very different to what I do. Now, someone here who is like in the military or something, I can't remember. Like, so whatever Bob does, we want to try to describe as best as possible. So if Bob's an engineer, right? A bit he has a team here right? just a little bit faster like work. what result is bob accomplished week at the end of week one where is bob end of week two yeah. where is bob end so of week end three, of week one bob? he's got better three. mindsets he feels better approaching yeah. end of week two he starts displaying um levels of attraction he starts displaying who he is this builds his confidence up um level three i'd start getting him to sexualize a little bit now so i get him to actually learn about sexuality learn to understand uh, women's side of sexuality a little bit deeper mm -hmm. start to display that with the girls so week three now he's turned attraction into um sexualization and then week four depending how his progress is and we're mm -hmm. saying this is linear right but week four would be okay now start dealing with objections so now you want to start going for the pool start hey i can't leave my friends i've got my period whatever it is blah blah so in these four weeks during that process week mm -hmm. one is probably going to get some leads right he's probably going to get some instagrams week two same thing so i want in those four weeks him to be going on dates now some of those dates like if bob's fucking going well he might be able to close them um otherwise that's after four weeks what i want for mm -hmm. bob is to get, it gets to the point where he starts dealing with objections Perfect. going on dates and look if he closes good on him but i'm also telling bob to even like not even worry about that right now yeah weeks, if i'm honest if bob is like i got you yeah so in our program we focus on uh tonality when you say before, sorry uh, can, can i just clarify sorry. sorry to interrupt you man yeah. when you say your program is this the same as michael's was talking about last time we debated i don't know if you saw that yeah yeah one of the co-owner co-owners okay but i was a client of michael's for two years first. totally different yeah so if we're talking about from just social standpoint so we have everything including the program we go over mindset we go over finances go to entrepreneurship we go to leadership and then we also have a section that helps with social circle and dating as well because we're about being a complete man. So you can be the type of person that attracts the type of ideal. No, no, girl I'm, you talking, sorry, I'm talking about the dating side of things. That's what he was talking about last time, right? Yeah, yeah. It but seemed my like question... last time it was like 2% is cold approach. Um, you need to make uh, a exactly, bunch of friends first. Exactly, exactly. So could you All tell right, so me here's like, my point. Could you tell me yes. what it looks like for four weeks for you? Because it seemed very different. All right, perfect. So with yours, it's Bob building up the confidence, talk to girls. And when he does talk to with conf or when he does build up the confidence, talk to girls. 
He's trying to talk to them for ideally either four hours to try to whoa, hook up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is no mystery method, or, bro. <laughs> no four hours. Then bro. what would be results? Like if your clients got confident with the girls and never slept with a girl, would they consider that success? Or would they consider they would consider that success, success after four weeks if they're a virgin, right? If I'm right, dealing perfect. with a guy that's like got, you know, he, he slept with like 30 girls from Tinder, but he's never done cold mm-hmm. approach ever, which is like common we get, right? Which is a lot of guys that have success right, with perfect. women in certain environments. So we'll say then that would be different. I want that guy's of, fucking girls. All right, let's, yeah, 100%. All right, perfect. So we'll say the result for Bob at the end of the month is being good with women. The goal for Bob at the end of six months is having an abundance of quality women or hooking up with quantity and quality women. So yeah. in your program, he got better with women at the end of the month. Our program is the same. Like he's talking to women, but what do you think at the end of the month, which Bob's going to be better? The Bob that did that or the Bob that did everything you're doing, slowly talking to girls, getting more comfortable because to invite, when we teach people to invite girls to an event, the prerequisite is talking to girls you don't know. So we encourage guys yeah. to talk to girls all. So the Bob that's going down your journey, he's also doing that similar journey with us. But instead of take the snapshot of uh, interaction for that month, Bob's interaction with you is trying to talk to a girl for hours on end. And I don't even know what the end goal is. No, Maybe no, no. It's not. Date. Sorry. I have, to, I have to interrupt there because it's, it's yeah. misrepresenting. The, Bob's goal isn't to talk to girls for four hours or talk to girls on end. Yeah. That's not the goal. Then what is the it? goal What's for the, goal? the first week is to get like over it, talks to, is to develop good mindsets. The goal for the second week is to build attraction. It's actually yeah, develop yeah. these skills to show how good of a man you actually are. And what does he want to accompany? Well, just so to like he, talk about what Once he works on his around. mindset, once he builds attraction, what is Bob trying to do when he goes out of his way to talk to a girl? Like what so is Bob going gonna to talk start, to the girl for? It's going to start with the approach. Then it's going to move into building attraction. So once the girl's attracted, yep. you want to show intent. Then you want to and sexualize. Then, and then you want to pull and into then, the objections. So ideally, then, like after an hour, you've got this girl at home and pulling her hair. <laughs> okay. All right. So eventually Bob's going down this journey of yeah. ultimately getting a girl back to an event or a location and hooking up with her. Would you say that's the progression, Bob? He might not get all the way to the end at the end of the month, but that the sequence like is Bob mm. talking to a girl to then learn how to build attraction to then accomplish something else? Or is the end goal just learn how to build attraction so but not see I the girl again? I want to make it clear. Yeah, it's a really good question. Yeah. I'm glad you're clarifying this, man. The end goal isn't sex. Because if Bob came to me yeah, and his yeah. goal was just like, hey, I just want to fuck, I'd be like, make a lot of money and pay some prostitutes, right? That's like okay. the most efficient way. Um, what Bob really wants is like a proper mm-hmm. connection with a girl. What Bob probably really wants is to actually feel like a fucking man, is to feel that he can actually get respect from women and feel. So the end result, like the thing we often count right, is like, perfect. but we're not J-Mov, right? We're not sitting here being like, ah, yeah. 1,100 lay count. It's like, I want I want Bob to actually <laughs> feel better as a person and Agreed. actually build attraction <laughs> with, with it, like the women. So right, yeah, perfect. one way to measure that would be like sleeping with them. But like Bob might. Here's actually... a better way for me to phrase it. I just want to yes, have sir. apples to apples. Can we define a okay. start point? So I want to also agree on his end point. So what will be success for Bob at the end of a month? What will be for success for Bob and then in six months? And what will be success for Bob at the end of the year? So I know. Okay, so end of the month, I want him to be able to run through, um, go to a club and actually build attraction with women and get to the point where he's dealing with objections. That's what I want after a month. Yeah. Um, after a so couple good at of months, talking with women. Months. Can we can we narrow it down to at the end of the month? Bob is good at talking to women. Is that a sure. fair? Yep. All right, cool. Very broad, but sure. Because it depends on what talking to women means. I don't mean in a platonic good sense. Good at I mean talking to women. Exactly. All right, perfect. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Bob is right. good at talking to women in a non-platonic sense. Cool. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Um, after a few months, I want Bob to come to me being like, uh, I feel very confident, right? I feel mm-hmm. very confident as a man. I feel like I have a better self-esteem. I feel like this is impacting other areas of my life. I feel like I'm carrying like these subcoms and like people around me saying that they, they look at me different. That's what I want for Bob there. At the end of six months, Bob should be sleeping with girls, starting to like see girls um, on a more consistent basis. That's what we're going to start teaching Bob about like relationship management, how to actually deal with girls, thinking like, are you sleeping with other girls? How to actually deal with the what are we questions and things like that, how to set the right frames. Um and I mean, for a very broad sense, obviously it's going to depend really what Bob wants, right? Some mm-hmm. Bob's are going to be like, I just want to fuck. Let's just say abundance with women. So it sounds like the end of the month, he wants to be good at talking to girls non And then yeah. in six months, he wants to be abundance with women. Yeah, My sure. point is, so for which one's better for the beginner, I feel like social but, will be better sorry. because, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, dude, before you go on, it's not just abundance with women. It's like the inner self that is able to reach the abundance with women. Okay. Like that's, well, I want to make it very clear that that's like a distinction I want to make. All right. Cool. So do you, 
yeah. So, um, so at the end of the month to be good at women, like that Bob going through your scenario is going through that same scenario with social goal, opposed to during the, if you zoom in to his interaction with women, with you, it might be talking. And like you said, the goal isn't to go on a date. So say the result, essentially, that we all agreed that Bob had is he talked to girls and nothing ended up happening from it. If Bob incorporated what we teach, social circle and social media. Oh, no, no, we, sorry, does... we get them to take the Instagram still and we try get them to, you know, if it's like a girl that's got a boyfriend, then I'm telling him to like make friends with her, of course. I'm not just being like, right. oh, you got a boyfriend, fuck you, okay? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm just here to get my dick in some, yeah, yeah, to be clear. I got to. Yeah, so we're talking about a guy that just does a cold approach route, what his life will look like. And I want to illustrate what a guy that does social circle and social media route looks like. They're both going to have to talk to girls with yours is talking to a girl. And the best case scenario for Bob in this scenario is at the end of the month, he's still not setting up dates. So in our scenario for that first month of that same Bob, who's not able to set up dates with cold approach. No, no, I said he'd probably have some dates and he can go on them is what I said. But sorry, go on. Perfect. All right. So we'll say Bob is good enough to get on for three dates. Um, so that same Bob who's able to get on good three dates, he did it by talking to a girl and had to build all the attraction, comfort, seduction on his own. Mm -hmm. If he just did cold approach, you just said Bob would also show Instagram, which is what we're teaching social media, which you would agree social media is not cold approach. You're leveraging social media in your cold approach to improve your results. Correct. Yeah, correct. So we're teaching social media and social circle. So a guy walking to a girl, instead of talking to her for two to two to three hours, to build enough traction to invite her to a one-on-one -on -one date. Well, client, if he's talking to her for two to three hours, he's pulling and fucking. This Bob that that can't fuck. Yeah, we agree that this Bob, Bob is not talking to a girl for enough, three right? hours. All right, but, his... all right, so how long is Bob talking to the girl that he's not fucking and might go on one or two or three dates in a month in this scenario of a beginner that you're saying? Because when you talk about a beginner, so I imagine a beginner isn't talking to a girl and has a skill set to talk to girls in two hours and fuck them. So in the beginner Bob for that first month, when he talks to a girl, what what tell me what happens? Oh, a month. Bob, okay, no, no, you know, I thought you were telling me the first week, my man. Okay, I'm yeah, talking yeah. About your in a month. So, if he's in a three hour set, he's pulling and fucking. If he's fourth week in the month, yeah. All right, so I'm so confused on what we're defining as a beginner now. <laughs> your beginner is a noob that can't talk to girls. No, no, no. You said after a month. No, no, no. I said within after the a first week, month. He's not having no, no, a three hour said, interaction. After a week, he's maybe having a five minute interaction. That that's the clear difference. After a month, then yeah, if he's in a three hour interaction, no, no, within a month, fucking... at the end of four weeks, at the end of four weeks, because you said the end of four weeks, he had a few dates, and he's good at talking to women non platonically, is what we agreed of yeah. the yeah. metric for success with yeah. Bob. Yeah. All right, so that same Bob that isn't good enough to fuck girls that he's meeting through cold approach in that first month, I'm saying if you gave him the tools of social and social media, that same Bob who's not good enough. To fuck girls from cold approach instead of talking to them for 5 10 20 30 minutes to build attraction to the cold approach and invite her to a date and apparently she's not accepting the date because in this scenario bob went on three dates but he went he probably did more than three approaches bob probably did 20 approaches and got three dates so 17 girls rejected him that same bob that approached 20 girls doing social circle and social media would have within the first 10 minutes been like hey every single week me and my friends do sushi sunday if you have Instagram, they exchange Instagrams. He has a dope Instagram because it doesn't take that much work. You look up places that are Instagramable in your city. You go and take photos. We teach guys how to take photos and edit with a face app. So that same Bob in your scenario that's talking to a girl, and because he won't only won three dates, but he, he didn't approach three girls, let's just assume he approached 20 girls. So he approached 20 girls in that first month and got three dates, but didn't fuck any of them. That same Bob that approached 20 girls and got three dates and then fuck me of them. If he had social circle and social media, those 20 girls, he would have friend zoned them, exchanged Instagram within 15 minutes. His Instagram now does all the heavy lifting. It built attraction because she sees dope photos and also builds comfort where the 20 girls that he met, it's a very high success rate of getting Instagram. So with cold approach, the conversion rate was 20 out of the 20 girls he approached, three hooked up with him, 17 are never going to see him again. And they don't want any of his friends to see him as well. With the 20 girls doing social social media, he probably got 18 of their Instagrams, invited them to an event, and it kind of snowballs where maybe the first event, two to three girls show up because a bar of success is lower. Like, it's easy for a girl to say yes to, like, a sushi Sunday thing. It could be anything. Well, you sushi Sunday because she doesn't feel threatened, and it's like, oh, I don't have to hook up with them. I'm going to hang out with this cool guy. So maybe he gets 
three girls to come the first time. He puts it on his social media. Now, out of the 18 girls he got their Instagram uh, that didn't, uh, and the 15 that didn't show up, because three did. So he got 18 Instagrams. Three showed up, 15 didn't, but they all follow him on Instagram. Now, the second week when he's showing his lifestyle and promoting on Instagram, not only is he building attraction with, he's building attraction come from a scalable way. Instead of cold approach, building attraction one to one to one to one to one, those 20 girls that he met, when he posts one thing, it's building Dude, attraction I... come from with 20 girls at once. And then now the girls that didn't come the first week might more likely sorry, come the second week. I'm so no, sorry. no, no, don't interrupt, don't interrupt. So at the no, end, no, of the I, no, he I has to. to he has a flight. No, no, I, I've got a flight. Yeah, yeah. My okay. my transport. Well, my main point is minutes. that's right. Yeah. So my <laughs> main point is at the end of the month, the Bob in that just did cold approach, his results were he got better at talking to women non platonically, and he had uh, the twenty girls. He had three successful dates, and he's never going to see seventeen girls again. That same Bob, if he did social media and social circle, would have a good Instagram. Would have five female friends. Who are helping him calibrate and get better with talking to women because he's talking to more women on a consistent basis and he has 20 girls or 18 girls in his rolodex so that bob that hooked up with three girls a month one is the same bob that you know has five female friends 20 leads that follow him and if this bob fucked those three girls then with soul circle that same bob would have fucked those three girls so we would have fucked three girls probably had five to six female friends and 20 girls that follow him on Instagram. And that's just their starting point at the end of the month. Take that at the end of the year. You're 17, seven years in a game. And when you come to Vegas, you're going to be cold approaching in GA. A guy that did social work over seven years will be ta talking to girls that he does. You'll be talking to girls you don't know in general. I would be cold approaching GA. All right, guys, I love you all. Circle, um, you'll be talking to a girl in okay. like a $10,000 table, a DJ booth, et cetera. Okay. So the, right, the right. End, at the end of the month, Mar you're at better results for a social circle at the end of six months, seven months. Okay. It's not a, a year. It's not even comparable. Oh, really Marcus, send me a message. I was mentally 20 minutes ago. Sorry. Yeah, um, Marcus, Marcus uh, send me a message. Tell me what clubs you want to go to. All right. Just send me a message. You, man. All right. Boys, love you all. Uh, Thank you, brother. Uh, um, I'm sure you can like uh, respond to this and talk about uh, actually learning to the chance to be more dominant in these interactions when you won't get to it otherwise. Um, boys, I appreciate all of you. Thanks for the chat. Uh, I thanks, thanks for man. organizing this. Love you all. All right, bye-bye. Peace, bro. Thanks. Thank you, team. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of those points are good, but the main thing that I'm saying is that you need cold approach in order to be good at social circle but the other, like vice versa does not apply, right? You can get really, really good results with cold approach and you need to be good at cold approach in order to maximize re your results from social circle. Well, I'm so saying it's is. faster. So like, for example, you're getting better at cold approach by talking to girls you don't know on the streets. What if you talk to girls from your social circle? Like instead of you getting better by talking to 10 girls at Starbucks, Instead of talking to 10 girls at Starbucks, you talk to 10 girls that are coming to your event. I don't understand how all of a sudden when girls are your friends and then girls come to your events, that somehow those same 10 hours you're putting into talking to girls doesn't makes you worse. But 10 hours talking to random girls on Starbucks makes you better with women. Well, I think it's because the girls that you're cold approaching are a lot more honest and they're not obligated to talk to you. So the feedback is a lot more honest, right? And I gave a couple of examples where Michael is like nodding his head too with like promoters that they're not getting laid with any of the girls that are coming to their tables, guys that are in fraternities who are around girls all the time, but they're not getting any play. At the end of the day, like you can talk to girls and in a social circle environment and they're obligated a lot of the time to be nice with you because you're their ticket in so if they want to get back they have to be nice to you right uh but if you're talking to someone on the street they have nothing to gain from you if you fuck it up so you actually get the honest feedback i know yeah, so but I, I think at the same time if you invite her to an event she can still say no that is okay. honest feedback if she says right, yes so you successfully got her as a friend Okay, so so Hamza, going back to what you said before with the pro club promoters and everything, I started the program because of what you were talking about before, where I would see club promoters frequently, and they would have an issue where they would be able to get a bunch of girls to come out, but they didn't know how to close. So part of the, the issue is what happens, Hamza, this is a completely different issue. We could have another debate on this. We friend zone them. We do not get friend zoned. We friend zone them. We do not get friend zoned, meaning my behavior remains masculine and assertive, even though she is my friend. And because someone is my friend, follow along here, because she is my, because I have a lot of clients who get this very confused. 
because she is my friend doesn't mean I'm fucking nice to her. When I could play basketball with my buddies, I'm like, what up, bitch? Throwing the ball. Let's hoop. Let's hoop. These are my friends. I will help them if they want to get a business deal. I will help them in different situations. But I'm like, hey, Bob, what's going on? I don't do that with women either. My voice inflection doesn't change. I continue to display masculine qualities. Why I'm around females who I am my friend. Now, those what those club promoters will do, you'll see, I'm sure you've seen this before. They dress a little bit homosexual. They get a little, their voice inflection changes. They start getting really nice to the girls. Some of them figure this out. By the way, that's not all of them. Like if you met Sam Rima in fucking in, in LA, this guy's just crushing. This guy puts all of us to shame. It's just incredible. He used to work at Playboy. Some of them do really well, but it's because they maintain masculine frame. So while your point is correct, social circle without the context of maintaining masculine frame, you're right, they're, they're going to get friends on. But the point I'm trying to make is that is not something that is just mute. That is not something that is exclusive to cold approach. Masculine frame is not exclusive to cold approach. One more time. When I am friends with a girl, because I'm for, like my best, let's say my best friend when I was growing up, a guy named Zantar. He went to jail for selling crack. We were in high school together, play football. Like, he was my best friend. When I did, when I grew up with him, I didn't go, "Hey, brother, do you want to be my best friend?" No, I, we were just friends. It just happens. Me and Kindly Myers are, and, and CJ Sparks, they're two of my best friends. They got three, four million followers on Instagram. They introduce women to me all the time back when I was single. And I, at no point was I like, "She's my best friend." At no point was that. I treat them like a dude. I maintain masculine frame even though we're doing it from a social circle situation. We still do cold approach like what you're saying. The issue wasn't cold approach. The issue is pickup. The issue is hardcore pickup. We just use the term social, uh, cold approach here. The, the issue is we do cold approach to build a social circle. Cold approach to build a social circle. That's always the frame we have when we start this thing off. When, we, when they come and do Vegas Immersion, we have 25 guys who come out here and we teach them cold approach to build a social circle. And here's what we do, Hamza. We actually make it like operate conditioning. The first night they have to go out to Jewel and they have to cold approach girls to get them to go to the table we have the next night at Omnia. The guys who don't get girls to go to the table, they don't get to go to the table. So they're out fucking hustling. It's now outcome independent and they don't feel the rejection personally because it's like a small mini container event where they get like a comp or whatever. This is just a small analogy. This is not everything. Obviously, this is just a small analogy. Then we take that analogy and we we bring it back to our homes. We bring it back to whatever city we, we live in, Secaucus, New Jersey. We live in Dusseldorf, Germany. We live in ever, anywhere else. And we do the same thing there where it's like every night we go out, our intent is let's build a social circle to build, to put another, uh, you know, to another uh, brick on the wall in order to increase uh, our social circle so that we can get more people to come out to the next event, the next event, the next event. Two things happen. The social circle grows, number one. But here's the other one, Hamza, that's really amazing. The flake rate decreases significantly. So one of the problems I'm having on my show, Access Vegas, is I always booked 10 girls to get eight. Well, guess what's been happening the last couple of weeks? I'm booking 10 and I'm getting 10. Because the show gets more popular, fewer girls flake. And so the flake rate also decreases because they can look and see the social proof. Is that Dan Bilzerian at his party? Is that fucking Adam Sosnick at his party? Wait, what the fuck is that? Is that Jeremy Piven? Now they never want him. Is that Paul, Paul E.D. was a DJ for my birthday party two nights ago. They, 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 they see that and they're like, well, I'm not going to flake now. This is the bigger, better deal. Now, what happens is, Hamza, what you're going to say is, well, when I do cold approach, I'm getting better with women because I'm doing these dynamic interactions. And my point is, you still do the same dynamic interactions with um, with social circle, but the difference is there's these initial barriers we don't ever face. There's no bitch shield when you're standing next to a girl on stage when you're at uh, with Diplo. So you actually, instead of starting at level one, you're already at level three or four or five. If you're good looking, maybe you're at level seven, level 10 being having sex with her. You're already skipping several levels because that initial and eh, that ick factor, you've already skipped past the ick factor. And that makes it so much easier for you to get further on. But here's the other issue, right? If I'm playing basketball, when you ever go to the YMCA, you play basketball and the courts are always taken up. I can't get good at basketball because I can't get in a fucking game. Fuck, how am I supposed to do this? So you might go to the, the university or you might go to the, down to the, public court and there's more games going on at first you're playing with the shitty players and then you get better and better and better for us it is immersion and repetition same thing in cold approach but the difference is for us it's immersion and repetition at the playboy mansion at the maxim party at the ignite party at babes in toyland at the teatro parties it's places like that so when i'm going through there it's nothing but tens i'm talking to and when I when you saw the pictures that I was showing before, I can't show you pictures of me, all my clients putting their dick in the girls, obviously. But what I can show you is that consistently our events are just tens 
everywhere. And so you're playing against better competition. And so you get better faster. That's the argument that we're making. Now, the, the counter argument that Marcus had was the thing about the, the newbies. And I just had four people who are newbies on here. And his disqualification is what, well, they don't seem like newbies. Of course, they don't seem like newbies. They've been doing my program for a year. Of course, they don't seem like newbies. They're calibrated because they've been around hot girls all the time. So that's essentially what's going on. I think that's where the confusion might be. I don't have a problem with guys teaching hold approach. And I don't even got a, pro a problem with guys teaching pickup. My issue is that if you don't put enough social circle in there, you're going to get left behind because what will happen is the guy on social circle, well, I'm sorry, the guy with social media will just send out an invite the night you're supposed to go to the date. And he's going to say something to the effect. He's going to show a picture of him with girls touching him. He's going to show a picture, maybe something like, um, He's going to say he's going to have a party. He's going to show a picture like this, showing massive amounts of compliance. And he's going to say, hey, we're having an event at so-and-so, whatever, really quick. Would you like to come? Or would you like to go on the red carpet of the Maxim party? Which, by the way, not only can I get anybody, a girl on, on the red carpet of the Maxim party, Mark Hamza, if you send me a girl, I can get her on. If Marcus sends me a girl, I can get her on. That's part of my social circle. When I say that, now all of a sudden she flakes on your date, not you specifically, Hamza, just hypothetically, she flakes on the your date to come to this bigger, better deal. And then now I have more opportunities consistently with more attractive women. And that's the reason why social circle works so well in this, in this instance. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, if, if you have that level of a social circle, it's going to be crazy. And of course the, the higher status, the better, right. But with, with yeah. a beginner, when they are at a party, for example, and they're talking to a girl that they find attractive, what would happen if she's like not interested? They, yeah. So he, he would collect her, perfect. right? Social he, circle he would collect, he would, and, and he, cold approach he, would lose in that scenario. He would collect her. He would collect he would collect her info. So basically, yeah. as soon as I, when I'm talking to a girl, by the way, there's two ways it works with this. This is back when I was single. When I would sit there and I would talk to a girl and and I would say something to the fact I, I immediately could tell there was no vibe looking at her boyfriend. She's dating the DJ, something like that. Immediately we go in, we switch gears and we go, we're having a breast cancer awareness charity. This is for real. Breast cancer awareness charity, October 15th in Los Angeles at the Mondrian. Would you like to attend? So what I've done is I've saved the set. Now she's in, she goes on the spreadsheet. I, we share IGs. She's now following. I say the words I say, I hold my, uh, I, I get her phone. Up, so I'm like, look me up. And so she'll follow me and re right there in front of me. And so now she goes back into the system to, to where we go and do this again and again and again. So now she shows up to the event. When she's at the event, I go from the social proof where she met me to even more social proof at a party that I helped throw by inviting 70 or 80 girls. And so now if there's a possibility of attraction, maybe I'm an African-American man. She doesn't like African-American men. Or maybe I'm Asian and she doesn't like Asian men. For whatever reason, it's just not going to work. No matter what happens, she increased my social proof by coming to my event even though she wasn't interested in having sex with me. And so it actually increased my status. So to, to, to your point, if there's no reason to be awkward, that's why guys who, who become club promoters say what you want about them getting laid. They're not awkward talking to women because they talk to so many women and it's outcome independent. That's the situation that would happen. We would take the outcome dependency away from your cold approach. And then it would collect, you would collect all these girls in fantastic container events that you do not throw. I didn't get a chance to say this while Marcus was on there. We don't throw our own events. Someone always, someone else always throws the events. We just bring the girls. We just bring the girls. That's and all we do. Just to add to that point, like the end result is cold approach. Talk to the girl that doesn't have a boyfriend, end of interaction. That's the extent of the benefit or the value that you got from that person, whatever the case may be. But soul circle, that same hot girl with a boyfriend, you befriend her, you invite her to her event, she bring her friend. So now that guy a week later, from the cold approach interaction, nothing happened. He has no results, no fruit from his hard work. The soul struggle guy has a hot girl that has a boyfriend and has other hot girls that came to the event. That guy from that one interaction is now with three girls next week, while the guy from the cold approach is with zero girls. So we're saying, like, you're going to improve a lot faster if from that one interaction next week can be surrounded by three girls, opposed to from that interaction you're surrounded by zero girls. So Soul Circle wins when the girl is not interested in you because she'll bring her friends around. And if the girl is interested in you, you get with her and also her friends. So you're surrounding yourself with more women. When Cold Approach doesn't work, it's just someone you never see again and you don't have access to them for the rest of your life. Right. Yeah. Well, what the reason why I asked was because you, you made the claim that like you never get friend zoned by girls. You're the one always doing the friend zoning or your clients yeah. are the ones always doing the friend zoning. But like if you yeah. talk to a girl that you're into at a social circle event and she's not into you then she's friend zoning you right but my um, my thing is like you're not showing i think she, I, I, I think i think you i think you would have to show interest and get rejected yeah, for exactly. her to technically be friend zoning you 
Otherwise, every woman on the planet has friends on me, even if I haven't met them. I have to show intent and then lose. Does that make sense? Yeah, exactly. But when you try to go for the poll and she doesn't want to go home with you. So, so Hamza, let's, let's talk so about this. so much right? more calibrated. Okay, okay, yeah. We're like, so, yeah, Hamza, let's, let's talk about this. <laughs> what, 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 what a great point, Hamza. So here's the thing. When you go for the poll, the, the thing that's also a little bit different is, so I've collected all of their information and I'm like, guys, let's get the fuck out of here. And I, logistics is one of the things we teach. Let's go back to Panorama and they'll come or they won't. It won't be a rejection, but the likelihood of she comes back with all of her friends and her friends show approval of you pulling is a hundred thousand times higher. And also resistance is going to be much lower. So that's, that's the difference. Like that's where, that's where like when she comes back and uh, as opposed to what I've seen a lot of guys do again, bad pickup artists, I'm not talking about you, but like uh, what other guys do is they're going to try to es uh, separate and escalate, es uh, isolate and escalate. So I'm going to pull her from her friends and then I'm going to take her up to my room in the wind, take her out of access and just go fuck her. And her friends aren't going to notice this is low probability stuff. And this is also the kind of stuff where she comes back, feels shame. Then she blocks you the next day. That's where that kind of stuff happens. And so we don't do that. We want, I want full and total compliance from every female in the group. I want them all to love me. If I go out with her friend, I want all of them to follow me. And then after I go out with a friend and she had a great time with me, then I want all of them to come to my, my next social circle event. We're going to the Maxim party. We're going to whatever, whatever the next cool event is. We're going to the SPCA dinner. We're raising money for animals. Whatever the thing is, the pool party, we're going to Tao Beach. We're going to the Wet Republic bikini competition. Whatever the thing is, she's going to come to that. So there's no rejection. If you want to pull her, what, what happens, um, so what, one of the things I, I challenge my clients to do is make 100 female friends. Now, I don't know if you're aware of this. You probably are. You can't make 100 female. I said, make 100 female friends and don't sleep with them. You can't do it. It's not possible. If you try to make 100 female friends legitimately where you, they didn't put you in the friend zone, you won't get past 20 and some of them are going to try to sleep with you. You won't. It just, there's so much psychological pressure when they see each other competing for your attention. Cause that's what women want. They want attention. We, 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 as men receive validation through sex, they receive validation through attention. When you're giving your attention to the wrong one. And she's like, but I'm hotter than her. Just watch the psychology goes on. The hypergamy starts firing up. The algorithm starts churning. And she's like, no, I will do anything to get this guy's attention. And then you, the extreme example is Bulzarian. I went out with him one time for Halloween. He had slept with every single girl in his fucking row. He had like 20 girls. It was insane right? That kind of stuff will have, that's an extreme example of it. But the options that you get a lot of times when you have that much pre-selection, you don't really have to escalate. And one of the things that well, pickup does is it, 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 it correlates escalation with sex and escalation can lead to sex, but status actually can lead to sex easier. And that's the thing that we teach. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And the, the thing with getting a hundred friends and not getting laid is kind of hard, right? But, um, yeah, they're going, someone's going to try at a one yeah, year or 30. Yeah. She might, she might even be mid, but she's going to try. Definitely. And what a lot of guys that they get into this whole space for is because they have issues with sexualizing or they have issues with showing that energy. So what I'm, what I'm kind of getting from this is like, you might have a client who you're told who you're telling him, make a lot of friends. And then eventually like one of the girls is going to escalate on you. But then that's kind of creating or, a, a man who yeah. is deriving validation from women and doesn't feel good about himself if the woman doesn't escalate on him. I'm sorry, so it's it's, a, it's another great point. You're just talking actually, about pulling a girl. Hold, 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 hold on, so, so, so it's a great point. I'm explaining to you what does happen. That isn't what I say happens. What I say is just worry about doing this and the rest will take care of itself. That's about as far as I go, right? I'll show, like a lot of times when I do the cold approach versus social circle debates, I'll show a photograph and it'll be a photo like, here, let me see one, we're, we'll cook right here. The, the photo, it'll be like some guy who's in, um, who does, you know, cold approach. And then he'll be like, well, these guys don't get laid. And then my question is, okay, if this was your reality every weekend where you were around girls that look like this every weekend, just around them regardless of what they thought about you. Let's just say they thought you in a completely plutonic manner when you started this, but you did this every weekend. And this was the quality of women that you were around every weekend. Would you, as a cold approach specialist, not be able to get laid? And the answer is obviously yes, or unless you're not good at cold approach. You're not good with attracting women. And so the point is in a vacuum, if I keep taking these guys and I put them in situations where like, yeah, I'm in a situation like this and I can consistently get laid, then the answer is why not just be in more situations like this instead of going around trying to do cold approach all the time? That's the difference. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, no. Then that, if that's I can, why I think it goes hand in hand because if, yeah. I feel like if I if you are cold approaching a lot and you get used to being rejected, your mind becomes stronger. You can handle the rejection better. Your calibration becomes better because you don't have the status from the social circle event. So if you took a guy who's 
good at cold approach and you put him in a social circle event, he's going to kill it. But if you do okay, it the so, other way around, I don't see the social circle okay, guys so, getting good so, results. So, so like he, they get, they would get good results because they would use they would use events as their as their like. It's, it's but almost that's like the, a situational crutch. You have to use the event to get the right. Yeah, okay. so, so, but here, but, oh, let, let me let, let me let, let me say let me say one other thing though. Here's here's the other issue. Um, my problem, and this is not something you're doing, but I bet you've seen this before, is when the calibration to rejection becomes so callous that they start to smell bad when they go out. They start to bark at women. They start to hate women. like Because they're so not afraid of rejection, they become autistic to rejection. They become totally uncalibrated to it, and it becomes a defense mechanism. And we have to be careful because so many guys literally with autism spectrum disorder get involved in this field because they're just not good with women. When we tell them to just get used to rejection, they don't. At some point, if a girl says, hey, listen, I'm just not really feeling you right now. You smell bad. The guy shouldn't be like, I don't fucking accept your rejection. He should be like, damn, I smell bad. Let me do something about it. What we need to do is have guys be able to take rejection as constructive criticism, as opposed to saying, I don't even receive rejection and then reframe everything to say, I'm a pimp. She doesn't understand my pimp game. That's because that's what guys do, unfortunately. And that's when you see the, you know, the Vince Kelvins and the fucking like guys like that. They're just, they, they're not calibrated towards rejection. And so that's something that you have to be very, very careful, uh, uh, very careful. It's totally different different point but yeah that's, yeah, that's no, something I, I'm, I'll, yeah yeah i don't i okay. don't teach people that shit either and okay also, it, too, your, your scenario one of the scenarios was like to... the cold approach guy going to a social setting so say for example two years guy's been doing cold approach two years guy's been doing social growth for two years you're like put that guy at the basin put the cold approach guy at the basin storyland event and he'll crush the issue with the cold approach guy for two years he doesn't know how to get into the basin toyland event have you ever been a basin toyland no, but well, I, mean, I, know I don't know if you was in LA. that have gotten into babes and toilet. Right, perfect. So, but for example, you're saying like the cold approach guy in a social goal setting would crush. Yes, he would because he's cold approaching in a much better and easier environment where the average girl is hot and you have status because you're there. My say, my issue with that is that scenario would never happen because you can't transplant a cold approach guy into babes and toilet because he didn't know how to get there to begin with. So. A cold, like say for example, that guy who's coming to Vegas, he knows cold approach for seven years. If you put him in DJ booth, yes, he would get amazing results because the ugliest girl in the DJ booth is a ten, compared to the hottest girl in GA is an eight. But that guy for seven years, Marcus, I think we can all agree he doesn't know how to get into the DJ booth. So the guy seven years later, so Marcus who did cold approach for seven years would get a ten if you put him in the DJ booth because that's the ugliest girl is a ten. And that's one of the things I learned from Michael. I was like, why am I doing cold approach when I'm tapping out at eights? He was like, if you want nines and tens, you have to go somewhere where the ugliest girl there is a nine or a ten. So take the DJ booth, for example. If Marcus, who's been studying game for seven years, if you put him in the DJ booth where the ugliest girl is a ten, he would go home with a ten. Marcus, who's been doing cold approach for seven years, doesn't know how to get in the DJ booth. Therefore, he's going to be gaming in GA where the hottest girl is an eight. So even if he studies game for ten more years – the hottest girl is going to be able to get is an eight and an occasional 10 opposed to the social girl guy who's been doing over seven years. And he's gaming the DJ booth. Now, when you say flip scenarios, the cold approach guy would not be able to get into a social girl setting flip scenarios. The guy in the DJ booth goes out to GA and cold approaches. His thing is, Hey, you want to come in the DJ booth? And now he brings the girl to the DJ booth. So the cold approach guy for seven years would not be able to get into a social goal setting and would probably, yeah, would fail in that point. And then the cold approach guy, they were telling to switch results with the cold approach guy would be walking in GA, inviting girls to the DJ booth. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't agree with that, though, because I think Marcus <laughs> specifically, I mean, you laugh, but you're, yeah. you got to wait and let me explain. So yes. Marcus, I think he knows how to do this, too. But it's very mm -hmm. simple. If you're cold approaching, you go in, you get pre-selection with some girls you talk to them, they're attracted to you. you, they introduce you to their friends, now you have a lot of hot girls around you, and then you Perfect. can get invited to a table, and then from the table you can get invited to the DJ booth. I've seen a lot of my clients do it themselves. I've and that's a social struggle game. Too. But they're starting with cold approach, right? You're, you're just saying the cold approach guy can't get in the DJ booth. I just told you how he can not know anyone at the club, and now he's in the DJ booth. Yeah, well, I so think one of the attributions... One of the issues is that both Marcus, sides, we attribute things to our, our side if we like them. And if we don't like them, we attribute them to the other side. Oh, no, no. What I'm saying is that 
I'm, just, I'm saying Marcus that a lot of these things are not exclusive to cold approach. Uh, agreed. Anyway, that's yeah, that's that's my point. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I agree. That's our point. I, we, is we probably need to wrap cold up. Cold approach probably gets you to a seven or eight out of ten. If you do, if you add social and social media, you get to a ten out of ten a lot faster. Well, what okay, about the like uh, ten that's in Whole Foods? She's in Miami and the Brickle Whole Foods. Perfect. Awesome. Hey, would you like? Sister. Would you like? Would you like to come? Hey, exactly. Would you like to come yeah. to? Uh, we're having Babes in Toyland exactly. May twenty eighth at yeah. fucking uh, at, at Hide SLS. You come on the red carpet and we're raising money for charity. Would you like to do that? Awesome. Then from there you share information and then you start up a conversation. But and all the pre promote shit is totally yes. out of the way. But I'm not and saying any creepy stuff. You could just cold approach and mm. run your game on her and still get a similar cool. result. Like you don't have to use an event. That's the thing it's is not like, as effective cold or approach, efficient you, is our point you, if, if you're, you're just, just straight up cold, cold approach. approaching and you're communicating your value and you're having a conversation with her yeah. you're going to be able to get a result but i do i do agree with you that if you have a bunch of social proof you invite her to a crazy event you're going to get crazy results too all right yeah. perfect man uh, so you and i approach a, a 10 in miami at whole foods <laughs> Let, Who do you think uh, is going to better results? All those equal. I know I'm I, in right I'll, now. If I'm you're just, in Vegas in so April, then say, we, can, for example, we can do something yeah, and see what happens. So the ten First person to in choke Miami. a girl and pull her hair wins. That's what I'm saying. Let's do the choke. I'm, fil- <laughs> I'm just filming. I'm not going to jail. My ass ain't going to jail. I ain't filming nothing. But for example, you, right, meet right, a 10, you meet a 10 in Whole Foods and you try to game her for an hour. I meet a 10. I'm like, bro, hey, I'm not gaming for an hour. That's the land. difference is you right, have perfect. a preconceived notion about cold approach and other pickup artists. I, right, I'm not, I don't long, even consider myself a pickup artist. Foods. How long are you talking about? Is this I mean, it depends, but you could, you could bounce her out of there 10, 15 minutes. Easy. All right, cool. Or so less. you're pulling a 9 or a 10 from Whole Foods in 15 minutes. All right, perfect. You could. So, all right. So what's a realistic scenario? Is it you talk to her for 30 minutes and maybe that's that's realistic. Miguel, right, let's perfect. let's do that. Let's do this on a different one. Let's 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 have just a separate debate. How why don't we do that? No, We're no, no, three no. hours. I want to talk about this. So you okay. talk to a girl for thirty minutes. Who do you think has better results? If say you, you talk to a nine and ten in thirty minutes, and you can't leverage social media or social circle, or say you, it's still you approaching a girl at nine or ten in Whole Foods in thirty minutes. But imagine a fight where you can only use one arm versus two. Imagine you talk to a girl for thirty minutes, and you can only use cold approach. And then I give you your uh, this Instagram, this social media. Do you think you get better results if you're just doing cold approach versus if you have everything you're doing, you're talking to the nine and ten, but then you're also saying, "Hey, we're doing a charity event that my buddy owns. We're actually having a pregame party at this mansion here," um, and you just show her what the event looks like. Like if you were able to show this a girl this event that you're having, and that the pregame party's here, the after party's here, this is a place you're having an event. Do you think you would have better results with that nine or ten if you could also use this in combination to what you're already doing, or if you only did cold approach? I think if you cold approach a girl and you don't have the event, you're gonna get worse results than if you cold approach a girl and you do have. The I don't event. know why you think guys in social hold that like you're you're getting just as good with girls because like we're both talking to girls, we're both getting better with the girls instead of a cold approach of the end goal trying to sleep with them. You're inviting them to an event, telling them to bring their friends and going to better and better events. Like just because you're inviting girls to just because you're being surrounded by more girls at better events doesn't mean you get worse at talking to girls than like cold approaching on the streets. I would say you get better at cold, doing the same cold approach stuff, but at events with a lot more girls getting a lot more reps in would make you better. It's because there's no implied status. That's all. What I'm saying is when you cold approach a girl without the implied status, there's a lot more you have to go through. You gain a lot more calibration and you're a lot better mm-hmm. at communication than when you're already at a place and you're, you have that implied status and you're able to show that you're like high value, right? Just by being there. Yeah, but Oregon right, is also uh, Wait, 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 wait. Let's yeah. end it here. Let's end it here. Uh, three hours long, yeah. near enough. Oh, wow. Um, very chaotic, I got to say um just let me know how how that was in the comments yes. i don't i don't think i'll be for, able to do for any of the all. viewers look at no, 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 wait, i i am not finished i am not finished i'm hosting respect the host <laughs> sure it has been very uh chaotic and that that's not particularly what i aim for uh but for the guys watching this just let me know what you thought about it and um yeah for me i got i got a be waking up in two hours so it's mm. crazy <laughs> on my side yeah. 
Uh, but it's been fun. Uh, unfortunately, we were not able to show the segment where Dan Bilzerian was in here. Uh, mm. I'm sure you can understand why if you try hard. Um, it won't even be that hard. I don't know. What the fuck am I talking about? It's so early in the morning. I should be waking up in two hours. We're, we're, anyway. we're going to do more stuff with Dan Ice. And then we we'll, I'll, at some point, we'll get you hooked up with him. Okay? Let's do it. Thanks. Um, okay. All right. So... Uh, Hamza, where can people find you? Hamza Hitch on Instagram. Um, but I am, I'm not coaching men anymore. I'm coaching women on how to find husbands. So nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. Dude, I would love, I would love to talk to you about that. Or you should, when you come to Vegas, come on access Vegas. Cause I think that's something that's kind of sorely needed. I tell women, men, when they have an intent for you, they show you their intent. Don't listen to their words. That's the main thing I tell women in that kind of situation. If he wants to marry you, he asks you to marry him. He doesn't like, if he keeps telling you he's not, you know, oh, I'll do it next month. And that then the men kind of bullshit, but yeah, that's, that's good. I didn't know you were doing that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, you can find me at Michael Sartain on Instagram. Just go on Michael Sartain on Instagram. I'll give you free everything. I got a ton of free stuff. I'll give you uh, the fr first four steps of MOA, the fucking Instagram list, all the photos you saw there. Like I'll show you you had a fix your IG, all this kind of stuff, access to every single one of our events, access to all our private calls, all kind of stuff. Just go to michaelsardane.com and I'll, and I'll give you access to the school server. I'm sorry, Michael Sartane, I'm Michael Sartane on Instagram. I don't have michaelsartane.com. Yeah, <laughs> Michael Sartane, yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. Um, for, for the guys watching, uh, just comment below. I'm good. Uh, we are going to be responding uh, to the comments and uh, I'll be taking note of good ideas and questions for next time. Whether that's a debate or just like any random fucking thing, I, I'm all for it. Um, okay. All right. Any yes. final comments? Any final comments? Yes. Don't do soul circle because you'll be bad with women. <laughs> 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 now just right. for the viewer, look at mike's instagram compare it to wherever else you want to learn dating from and then ask yourself which lifestyle do you want to have at the end of the day and then make up your mind from there which route you rather take all righty this is bo that's a bondage photo they actually put a cat thing around my neck <laughs> and drug me into the fucking club and then you should see what they did to me afterwards it was horrible we did not film it. all right uh yeah man take care guys i gotta hair? actually actually huh did they pull your that hair? Was, that wasn't all they pulled. Uh, all right, guys, I got to I got to go. Uh, take care. All right. See you guys later. Take care, guys. Nice I'll see you guys. Peace. God damn.